there we go. Ahoy uh, everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Be so mighty Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And welcome to our, well, Sunday game for Spooktober. The Dark Side Detective, technically two, since this is a sequel, it's just not numbered. A Fumble in the Dark. And I gotta say that <laughs> I don't remember... I'll, I'll need to double check what the the intro music or the the music here uh, was with the original, but this one is suspicious. Definitely sufficiently creepy enough. <laughs> yeah, I do like it though. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah. I didn't even know what I was going to try and say there. Yeah, this game is, as is could probably be guessed, a pixel style <laughs> point and click adventure set in, well, basically Spooksville. Yeah, and hold on, the server is off. Hmm? You're being shoppy. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's weird. Hmm, I'll have to look into that later. We had it with Alien Isolation a bit as well, but... Yeah, that could be explained because <laughs> Alien Isolation is a pretty graph... Not, not graphically intense, but... Still, it takes up quite a bit. Hmm. Maybe it's something with that uh, new capture method I'm trying to use, since uh, otherwise VC face can only be, well, accurately captured through a game capture, and having multiple different captures like that on a single scene tends to muck things up a bit. Not too much, but basically if this continues like this, I'll put back the, uh, the game capture version of this. I'll have to test it a bit. <clears throat> Also, I just noticed. Version 6.66. Yeah, I was supposed to comment that. Uh, wait. Pineapple home? Oh, come on. Another pineapple yoke. That's undetected. How to play. Resets. Okay. Oh, we've got six cases in front of us. Plus three bonus. A ghost of Christmas past. One flew into the cuckoo's nest. And tales from the dark side. This one sounds the most interesting to me. Because one thing that annoyed me a bit about... The first game was that the dark side wasn't really that well. It was semi-present through most of it, but I thought we'd actually get to look into things more. And hello there, Knight. How are you doing? The pixel art hello game. I, I love those also. Hello. How are you? Doing pretty decent. A bit annoyed that I'll have to go back to work tomorrow, but then again, who isn't? <clears throat> okay. Missing presumed dark side. Case one. Let's get started. I got it. I gotta find... Okay, sounds like you're going to get a bit of a break from uh, voicing Dooley, then. Okay. Okay, this is not click to continue. Previously on the Dark Side Detective. It's been one year since my partner, Officer Dooley, went missing from the motel. Oh. Ah, right, yeah, he, he went... I, I, I sort of forgot about that. Yes, I'm here! Dooley? Dooley! I have an idea where he's ended up. In Kazulo's backyard. Oh no! So I've been chasing up old leads. Up on the old leads. <laughs> the portal here is still locked down. It's actually from the first case. Uh, Dooley, where are you? I started chasing new leads too. The, have you seen this man? <laughs> uh, I guess that's the latest hot hairstyle. Uh, let's see, Knight. It looks like the gear is having a fungus grow on him. I know it's just even more bad, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to see anything through all this smoke. It... Are you in there, Dooley? I think you might have other... <laughs> I've run out of official avenues to pursue, so I've... been fired. Taken some time off to search him out. Yeah, you, he's been fired. 
So I'm asking for your help. Maybe you've seen something that will help me find my friend. Maybe you have a strange glow in your backyard. Maybe there's an odd energy in your workplace. Or perhaps food has been going missing from your fridge. Anything at all. Just reach out to me via the station. Please, I need your help, Twin Lakes. <laughs> Dick Brickman again. That's some heartfelt pleading. And now on TLTV, we have a squirrel who can count. A uh, freaking chorus. Get off the stage. And now on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, a squirrel who just who is just nuts about numbers. Okay. That was painful. <laughs> Especially in the morning glory part. <clears throat> Equipment storage only. Please stop leaving stray animals in here. Uh, looks like it's a storage room. Hello, Raxa. How was that? How was it? It went well. Come on, let's go. I believe Rax... We had another friend that we made during uh, the cases of the previous game. Uh, let's see, Night Ghost Rider, but Women Edition is... Uh, women version is crazy. Okay. Is that a new uh, Marvel character or something? I haven't... Well, I don't generally keep a, too much of an eye on think, uh, Marvel and such these days. I think that might be in the comment to the one with the burning hair earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> let's see. Sorry to hear about Dooley. I'll edit some really sad music over that piece, pull on the heartstrings. You left Cranks calling you all about all sorts of weird stuff in no time. That's very much a mixed blessing. Give me, give me a second, just got called from the sounds of it. Okay, whatever it was about, it wasn't important enough to stick around, so probably it was just a see you later. <clears throat> Let's see. I know you're lonely, but hands off, cowboy. It is a Mac, not the duster. <laughs> He's talking about the coat. Now, I'm not saying you're dressed like a cowboy, just calling you one. Like a clown or a fool, only nicer. Except for now, except for now that I've explained it, it's not so nice. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, keep those gunslingers, gunslinging hands to yourself. Again, not a cowboy. I know, cop. It's. We couldn't decide if Morning Glory looked better with or without a bush. <laughs> that just made for love. Of... <laughs> they intentionally made all those innuendos. Of course. <laughs> uh, let's see, night. Anyways, I'll be working out since I have been writing my lore since Friday and I'm still not finished and have a lot left. So, yeah. If you know me too well, you always seem to know what I'm talking about. Good on you. <laughs> so, do I just... Please. Poor wee guy is pointing at his mouth and rubbing his belly. Is he miming the answer? I don't understand. What number is that? Two? It means feed me. What? What am I doing here? You're on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, Twin Lakes' premiere and only live morning talk show. This is the weirdest first date I've ever been on. <laughs> uh, date? What? You you brought your mathematical squirrel to us to, to highlight his numerical skills on almost, more or less, live TV. I met this squirrel through the classified ads. I, I thought he was a person. <laughs> Okay, I do not even want to ask how that went or where that's going. Madame LeMeg, you can't fire me. I can and I have. If you were such a good psychic, you'd have known not to come into work today. Get out of here. He has a point. No, that that rem pardon? That reminds me of a, a psychic convention that got cancelled due to unforeseen for circumstances. Oh, bloody hey. <laughs> Let's see. Lights on, I guess I can't an enter. Going to try anyways. Knock, knock. Nobody's there. Let's see. It's a list of the network shows. No news is good news, the news-free news show. Where the weather... Okay, that's actually clever. And that rhymed. <laughs> 
where they discuss what weather is but don't forecast it. Boo. And the economical no prize lotto. Are you gonna... I guess I should. Yeah, talk to her. A paint can. An empty can of paint. Looks like they're freshening up this room. Fire extinguisher. Probably going to steal this sooner or later. It, empty. Yeah, pretty sure that's an OSHA. In case of fire, burn. Detective, there you are. Hello? Wondering how I knew your name, but that's not our name. That's not my name. I said job. I was just on the ship. Because I am Lady M M M Madame Lemag. Twin Lakes is fine as psychic. Also, only psychic. <laughs> the skeptic I see. Try this on for size. I know you're searching for somebody. Your partner, Peter Donnelly. His name is Patrick Dooley. That's what I said. <laughs> And again, I was just on the show. Fine, I saw your play on the TV in my boss's office. But I'm psychic and I can help. I know a place that lets people contact the other side. He's not dead. No, the other other sides. The flip side? Okay, what is this place? I can't tell you. I have to bring you. Let's go then. We can't. We can't? We can't. Not yet. My stuff is still locked up inside the storage room. Okay, let's get it and go. Uh, I left my key in the dressing room, and I can't go in there. My replacement is here already. Embarrassing, right? That was quick. <laughs> oh, tell you what. You get my stuff, and I'll meet you out by your... Hold on, I'm getting a vision. I'm seeing a police car. Well, obviously, I'm a police off... Super, see you there. With my bag. Ciao. What the heck? Uh, a cheaper psychic than a five-buck... Uh... I didn't even know it. A one dollar donut. Go away. No stars here. I downsized the staff into one room so I could have an ensuite. Okay. <laughs> you think these are made out of real stardust? You know that's unlikely, right? I'm still taking it. And so the kleptomania starts. <clears throat> Well, it's kind of fitting considering... Oh, let's see. What is the captain again? Oh, right, a pirate! <laughs> uh, let's see. Night. Before I go lurking, there was, there was one bad-looking squirrel, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I thought we were meeting outside. Huh? A moment ago, when we spoke, you said... It is a different person, detective. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it is a bit hard to recognize people when everyone's faceless. Or, well, uh, pixelated. Aren't the divine? My fans, the ball heads, they'd kill for me. I even had a vision of one doing so once. Can I get this person's name and address, please? <laughs> they write to me for advice, my fans. I don't reply, of course, never work for free. That's me and my ball heads at, at last year's Psycon. <clears throat> I signed so many balls that day. Oh, poor love. <laughs> that crystal is Melite. It helps people with a sense of fashion. Actually, you should take it. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's saying he has no sense of fashion. Oh dear gods. And also, I think it looks like even I am choppy. Okay, odd. Hmm. Uh, let's see. OBS says it's only using 1.2% of the CPU, so that's not the problem. Hmm. I think it's amazing that we live in a place like Twin Lakes, rife with real magic and mystery, but people are still more interested in stuff like this. You could probably see it as a distraction. It's like living in a town of uh, wizards, but for your own sanity, you're just going to pretend they don't exist. The centerpiece of my psychic's arsenal. Sure, people want their cards read, but they want to see a crystal ball. That must be the lockbox key that Meg mentioned. Hands off, that's from employees only. Hello, are you a fan? I can't. I can see knots. No ball on your heads. Sorry. Can't talk. Getting ready for my new show and don't have time for non-fans. 
Good didgeridoo, really? Oh look, a didgeridoo. Don't mind if I do. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> Yoink. You can see all my pores, crow feet, and stress wrinkles in perfect clarity. They're all sad. They're all sad lamps too. So I you know, don't even feel bad seeing all that. Except, okay, I'm get the feeling that's supposed to be a joke of some kind. Let's just flatten out aluminium foil. Public access doesn't have the budget for real monitor mirrors. <laughs> okay. Flowers well, from the station manager to welcome me to my new job. Or to the new job. Welcome new employee. It's the personal touch that I appreciate. <laughs> oh. And enough makeup to make a <laughs> make an elephant look like a mouse. But a colorful range of makeup. Sadly, I share this room with anyone going on TV, from the presenters to clowns. Ugh, clowns. I know, they should treat a star like me with real respect. Ugh, not much respect at that. Hmm, <clears throat> and night. The fan poster looks like a Mysterio helmet more than those globes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what's with all this dirt around this door or something? Yeah, what's with no, what? I think it's just oh, a wait. fancy uh, threshold or something. Or it could be the one with all. Wait, it was recently painted, so it could be something to prevent paint from running over the floor or something. Could be. Of course, it's Studio 51. Clark says this is the time. This is the time in 10 minutes. <laughs> this is the 50 minutes from now. 25 minutes time. The thing with clocks, multiple clocks like this, is that they're supposed to tell the time in different time zones. Or different cities, like New York, Moscow, Tokyo, that sort of stuff. <clears throat> I think there's meant to be a list of people who work here, but it's just gibberish. Yes, the station manager doesn't like fans reaching out to him or the performers. He believes that they perform better when they are <laughs> attention starved. <laughs> okay... Oh, you're new. Yeah, the last guy got possessed. Really worked out for him, though. The ghost has gotten him promoted to regional manager. Uh, okay. Who do I get to sign for this delivery? I'd rather give you my number than my signature. That's no use. I need a... Oh, wait, was that a flirt? That was a flirt, wasn't it? It was. Oh, how novel. <laughs> okay. Thanks for coming with, Roxa. I know you can't, have, uh, you can't have much time between college and busting spooks. It's the least I could do. You guys saved my life, after all. And I wouldn't even be in spook, uh, in spook touring <laughs> if it wasn't for you two. Frankly, life's been way more interesting since I met you both. I want to find Dooley and keep investigating the weird goings-on in this city. Speaking of which, we should get back to work. We have a case to solve. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a drooping willow bee tree. How do you know so much about plants? Private reasons. Uh, Wilting Tony. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing her personal reasons is that she, well, likes to light up. Uh, come on, you three again. The Blood Wolves? What are you doing here? We saw you on the TV. We're here to do a help. How did it go? Well, it certainly went. I can say that much. And there's a lady been in the car. You kidnapping her for interrogation? Can I waterboard her? At least she's away from the lighters at the moment. She's a psychic. She's, uh, she says she can help find Dooley. I just have to get some stuff for her. Can I still waterboard her? Uh... What? Uh, it looks like their fascination has turned from fire to water. Twin Lakes, the city that sleeps with one eye open. It's peaceful, especially when it's far away and asleep. B is for police cars, yeah, because that's what parked. <laughs> that's what's parked here. Uh, yeah, Dooley's uh, nephew was it, I believe, or little brother. Either way, uh, the low IQ apple doesn't fall far from the low IQ tree. <laughs> A few palm trees doesn't make this Sunset Boulevard. Stripped of all its glory, now it's just a moto. 
now it's just a moto. Motto. Okay. Uh, Another possible wait, okay. joke I didn't get. Hmm. The number two station outlet in town. Impressive, since it's the only outlet in town. <laughs> what I mean, what? it's shit. Mom and Dad uh, said I'm not... Sorry, Dad? You mean Dad? I prefer the consistency of Mom and Dad. <laughs> they wanted to know if you have police clearance for minding kids, and also if you have insurance for minding kids, and also what courses you've done for minding kids. Do I need to ring them or something? Now they're over there because they didn't want to leave me unattended. By them. Also, what's an incompetent? Is it your police rank? <laughs> I see the Dooley family isn't too happy with McQueen. Sorry to drag you away from whatever fun teenager stuff you were doing. It's mostly brooding these days, which, upside, is an easy hobby to bring around anywhere. Okay. <laughs> Why is there a kid jumping on this car? Maybe I picked the wrong cop to help. Jumping is helping, lady. What has happened to the car? Uh, pretty sure it's not been maintained in like a year since uh, McQueen took his time away from work, aka got fired. So... He's right there. He's sitting in the car. He's carrying on as if that's normal. Entirely ignoring the kid jumping on the roof. Which would have made getting in really difficult. This is gonna be someday. Someday indeed. Uh, I, I I just gotta say that I do love the writing in these games. Yeah, mm. I this is why I've been excited to return to Spooktube to this the game. So no, I was like confused. Why did he get to keep the car? Not a clue, or maybe he just ran off with it. And well we've seen how effective the police corp in Twin Lakes is, which is not much. A bin. I have nothing funny to say about this. Let's see. Can we stick this? A dangerously sharp star. Okay. <laughs> We've got a gold-plated ninja star here then. Melite. A goldenly brownish stone. It's melite, also known as honey stone. I accidentally took a geology course instead of geomancy last semester. A wind instrument of the original people. Okay, we're going to have to annoy the piss out of someone with that. Hmm. <laughs> uh, night. I just switched back to Twitch to see what was happening, and I saw like a second of some guy jumping on a cop car. Uh, yeah, that's not... One, that's not a guy, and... <laughs> Two, that's a teen. And, yeah, why they are doing that, I have no freaking idea. I don't recall what I was trying to do there. Okay, so what the heck do we actually need to do with any of these things? Let's see. Yeah, this is probably a good reason we have a longer stream to do this game now. More time to think. Yeah. Wait. Really nothing we can do with that can. Put the star on his door. Nope. Oh, come on. Yep, time to just throw everything at everything, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Gonna find Dooley that way. Missing something with that lamb. Hmm. Wait, can you sit the Dooley thing on the key? Yeah, she won't let us take it, so I'm guessing we need to cause some sort of distraction to lure her out. Hmm. So at this point, it's just 
trying to brute force whatever the hell we're supposed to do here. Actually, do we need to cut something off one of these plants? No. No. Can we give this to you? No. I don't think we want to give this to her. Am I missing here or something? Uh, is there something about uh, the car there? Yeah, strip the holds glory. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at his door, you see there used to be a star there. Hence why I thought you were supposed to put the star there. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to give the honey stone to a squirrel. Nope. Hmm. That's... Okay, all of that should be okay. We're on a quick save. Can't get by Marv. Okay, do we need to sabotage the camera then in some way or another? Hmm. Coffee table. Coffee comes separately, it seems. <laughs> Even Brickman <laughs> wasn't sure about that one. Hmm. Uh, look at that kitty. He thinks he's, he thinks he's a calculator. in the bin. Well, technically, there is never... Uh, there never was anything in the bin. Hmm. There's also this editing room, but we can't get in there. Hmm. Okay, we... What's this delivery? Sign here, please. Um, sure. Thanks, enjoy your delivery. Go. Okay. Uh, well, we can cut that open. Hmm, it's a federal offense to open someone else's mail. Just as well you don't work for the FBI then, right? Glass bowls? Oh. We need to pretend to be fans, it seems. Hmm. Oh, these look just like what my fans wear. Well, I, yeah, I'd think you were fans of uh, yourself if you weren't so old. I'm not old. So very old. I'm younger than you. Sorry I can hear your ancient and broken old people voices. I'm surprised Dustin didn't shoot out as you spoke. Uh, and hello there, Tatum. How are you doing today? Tatum! Uh, again, welcome to uh, Dark Side Detective, or Fumble in the Dark. Sequel to of the Dark Side Detective. Yeah, actually, I mean, I have to ask the people here. Do we look shoppy today? I do see some... Some lag, you could say. When I move, but not too much. Uh, let's see, night. Yeah, that poor, that car's poor, poor suspension, oh my. I thought that was Trachia laughing. Oh my god, I don't think I have heard you laugh fully, Lynn. That was a first. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, pr I suspect this game is going to get a lot more laughs than screams out of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep getting like a timeout? Okay, that's odd. Not seeing anything on my end that could be causing anything. Bitrate is looking stable. It's below the amount that it should be, or the maximum, so... Frame rate is good. Hmm. Odd. Uh, a collection of fish bowls. Ok, 
can't use it on McQueen himself. Maybe we can... Nope. The kids. Uh, free oh, balls. yeah, they, it's free, free balls. It's free nuisances. Blood Wolves Assemble. Right here. <clears throat> Good. Okay, who wants to earn their espionage badge? All of us, obviously. I need you to put these on your heads, go in there and pretend to be a type of fan called a ball head to lure out their new psychic. Insist on seeing her. Say you want autographs or something. Just get her there and don't let her leave. You understand? Probably. And off they go. Yep, that bag of nuts. Devin dropped his snack. Drink. Yep. <laughs> We're here to see the queen or something. She cures bald heads. No, guys, we're ball heads, Mystic, <laughs> Mystic Mystiques fans. Can we see her, please? We want her, uh, we want her to sign our stupid heads. 100% no, not gonna happen. Yep. 100% yes, apparently. My fans, I adore my fans. Okay, now that she's been lured out, let's just get that stupid key. I bet she didn't see this coming. Okay, that's one problem solved, but we'll still need to get past here. Hmm. Door isn't locked, just blocked by Mar. If I want in, I need him uh, to, get a, to go away. A bag of nuts, Devin dropped. Contains a warning, may have traces of nuts. It would, have, it would almost be worrying if they didn't. You can't go on stage, you had your 50 minutes of fame. I need to find a way to get these nuts to the squirrel. Um... Uh, <laughs> the nut fits perfectly. I might not be able to play this thing, but I sure can use it like it's an oversized blowgun. Oh no! <laughs> nut cannon. <laughs> One nut locked and loaded, ready to fire. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Reluctantly eats nut. <laughs> So, what's 8, mi uh, eight minus 3? Correct. Did you see that, Marv? Or did you get that, Marv? Got it. About time. That's us for today, then, folks. This has been Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, getting you up to, <laughs> up to start your day. And we're wrapped. Let's clear the stage. Okay, I didn't actually see if it tapped it, <laughs> if it, tapped it a few times or not. It, it did. Okay, I actually thought we were going to have to do something that would lead to injury. Okay, right. there's the lockbox. You expect to headshot this squirrel with a nut? I thought it was going to go mad or something. A, a, a witchuaries. Death notices for the magically inclined. Oglitchuaries. Ogl Technological death notices. RIP Walkmans and laser discs. The label says solvable in 20 or so minutes. This looks like an older model of the one out in the studio. Okay. Same one. We're transporting mediums and other mystics. <laughs> Guess what? it's a medium case. <laughs> oh! <clears throat> The label says for smuggling interview victims. Uh, that reminds me of something. Uh, how does it go again? <clears throat> uh, have you heard of the uh, dwarf uh, psychic that's on the run? No? It's a small medium at large. It says Lemeg's stuff. Hands off. The box is long. Okay. Open says me. Right. What's in here, then? Hmm. Looks like a bag. I guess this is what she wants. Okay. A go bag. Yeah, you sure? The game is also a little bit choppy. Hmm. Okay, I'll need to keep an eye on that, then. Madame Lemeg's emergency bag. Let's just leave these little menaces be. <laughs> okay. Here's your bag. Here you go. Okay, super. 
Now let's get out of here, quickly. Um, where do we get the feeling the studio is going to catch on fire? For a second I thought it broke down on the spot. I think there's a coffee mug on the hood. I think so. Okay, so where are we going? Look, I know you think that all this supernatural kind of stuff is nonsense. And some of it is. Some of it's pre presentation, showmanship. But Twin Lakes is special. I know you won't believe me, but there's other stuff going on here. Anyway, there's a place some of us know that lets us harness this power to talk to people on the other side. And this place, it can help me get Dooley back. All I can do is help you find him. You'll have to bring him back by yourself. I can do that. I just need to know where he is first. This is it. The switchboard. Hmm. I didn't have as many demolition in progress signs last time I was here. That doesn't bode well. Oh. Yo, we can head straight. I thought we'd have to find some way to get this open first. Okay. Not much in here. Just police type. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so how are you doing, Tatum? Hope you're doing well. There's a note from the city saying that due to advancements in technology, people will no longer need to speak to one another. Really? So, this is the place. I hope these guys haven't torn it apart. I mean, I'm seeing they maybe haven't. Very reassuring. The office is locked. Okay, so only place to go. Whoa, hands off. You're not authorized to touch this stuff. I'm going to have to clear this place out if I want to examine this switchboard. I can see a lot of wandering the city in your future, so I'm just gonna wait here and make sure they don't tear this place down until you're done. Tyrese? Why is this place being demolition uh, demolished? Obsolete technology, I guess. Word came up from on high to tear it down, so we're tearing it down. Oh, I actually saw the obligatory <laughs> for this earlier. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tatum, I'm okay, feeling okay-ish after two weeks of illness. Okay. Oh. At least yeah, happy being... to uh, hear that you're doing better then. Yeah, being sick for a very long time is never fun. Yeah, also forgot something. I'm loving the haunted vibes of this place. I'm definitely bringing some classmates here for an ill-fitted game of truth or there. <laughs> this place is pretty funky. Would make a very trendy apartment. <laughs> Uh, a game I have a bit of a love and hate uh, uh, opinion on. Yeah, because people often are dicks with it and such. Yeah, like, yeah you can do a good, some good truth and good dares, but either it goes either, either to dangerous dares, near a uh, harassing level of truths, and of course, nudity. Yeah. <clears throat> This place doesn't look like it's going to be standing for too much longer, even without all the demolition going on. Don't think we need to worry about whether the power has been flipped off or not. That's where you're not authorized to be here. You walk in safety hazard. Uh, yeah, already asked. Up to the roof. Up, uh, up. Uh, hello. Uh... An eye for detail. You spotted what Gary was up to on the switchboard roof. Okay, and... <laughs> okay, I can hear a little bell moving around outside. That means that the... One of the neighbors' cats, or... One of the neighbor... Yep. One of the neighborhood cats, better said, has been uh, basically visiting daily just to come chill up on my parents' bed. And he has a little bell, so whenever he moves, it goes jingle, jingle, jingle. <laughs> uh... Uh, what was that? Uh, what were where? Uh, what were what? Okay. I feel a strange energy up here. Did you see that? It was definitely ghost activity. Man at work. The broadcasting antenna blinks out uh, the f blinks out the signal in Morse code. 
As a science person, I can attest to the correctness of this technology. Oi, you can't have my tools. Need them for work. Were you talking to a ghost? Ah, ghosts. Yeah. Pull the other one. Ghost, this guy. <laughs> Receiving this scoops up all the noise in the area and parses it into calls and secret messages. Uh, I doubt. Okay. So we've got crime scene tape. Oh, that. that. I thought they meant the crime scene cassette tapes earlier. <laughs> no. So I was wondering, why does he have those that he probably should not have? But he just, just... Actually, I don't think he's supposed to have those either, but... The other one would have been worse. Hmm. Can we just tape the place up? By the power invested in me, I declare this site off limits. A franchise in spook tours to solve mysteries my way, but all this, all this abuse of police power makes me think it'd go a whole lot easier if I just joined the force. Everybody out! Well, that was surprisingly easy. I guess it's time for tea. I'll get the kettle on. <laughs> was that Gale, the ghost from the library? Get, yeah, get to see you again, detective. What's the crime uh, to, uh, place all closed up for? Oh, uh, the death of telecommunications? See? We both got secrets to keep. Okay. Now I guess we need to get him away from the door so we can actually enter. Pictures my kids uh, drew for me. I'd stick them up around the place, but that would be a fire hazard, so I keep them in this neat pile. That's actually pretty smart. Sorry, employees only. Now, is that where you hide your secret plans? What? No, we climb in there for private time. <laughs> okay, what are you, contortionists? <laughs> like, I know some of those things come with really big shelves. Or drawers, or whatever. Yeah, drawers, I think, is the better word. But still. A list of the health and safety violations you've committed since you got here. I'd offer you a seat, but we don't have enough. There is to sit on my lap on rainy days. <laughs> Can I help you, detective? Maybe? I need to look around some more first. You old water steamer. I'd offer you a cup of coffee, but I made tea. Which you also can't have. Sorry, city council only is budgeted for one mug per site. Really? That tea is so strong it has stained some... Uh, bor boromine, boromine, boromine rings into the table. That's nothing. Everyone stained this... Sephiroth onto some uh, archi uh, archi yeah, architectural plans and summoned an angel. <laughs> Have you ever tried to get a safety hat onto an angel? They're all eyes and wings and spinning rings. Have them come in those sizes. <laughs> oh, that kind of angel. <laughs> yeah, this is where we keep our bricks. I like it. It's cozy. Okay. Nothing to yoink. Oh. <laughs> I thought we'd have to lure him away or something, but no, we can just go in. This is the device, but they seem to have torn it apart. The wires are gone. They need, uh, they're, they're needed to make the connection between this world and that. There should be a dark side phone book so we know who to call. Without a transceiver, you are no, uh, you've no way to send or receive messages. Without all the missing pieces, there's no way to reach your friend. Can you tell me where to find them? Ah, look, you're pushing your luck, mate. Go do some detective uh, de de detectivating, don't yeah? Uh, yeah, see a lot of wandering around. Yeah, Let's and see, can we get the throw some food into the machine. Hmm. Just a bunch of tools. So, what's this? Sketchy address. A hastily written address down at one of the piers. I wonder what this connects with. Okay. Hmm. Yep, all right. <laughs> we can mess with him. Hmm. Okay. Well, guess we are going to have to wander off already. Actually, can we take a look at that broken vending machine? 
If Dooley was here, he'd want to know if there was anything edible in this. N nope. Jump, jump, nope. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, that's where I get the dry, you know, the dry clean done. Hmm. Do you know anything about this? I don't know it myself, but Gary had to drop something off there the other day. I just remembered something. It would help if I knew what the address linked with first. Okay. Can we use it on this? No. Oh, I uh, know that place. People pawn off strange stuff there all the time. Okay. So, you can go there? Uh, she just told you. Hmm. Teresa's inside, the office must be open now. Hmm. Okay. Do you know about this? I sense you're missing part of this puzzle. I'll try something. Okay, I'm at a bit of a loss as to what to do then now. Alright, I'm back. And then solve it. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know if it's something with Twitch or Discord. No, if it's on recording as well, then... the feeling we're missing something. Do you want this? No. Yeah, what are we missing? Also, I learned, learned something about the last game. No. Oh. It was Dooley's birthday. Yeah. I keep thinking we can use this to look up a hint or something, but no. Um, hmm. There must be something I'm missing. <sighs> there I get. I think I may need to call a bit of a BRB in a second. Hmm. All right. Okay, I, I probably should do that right now so I don't get distracted. So, yeah, BRB in like five minutes, people. Sorry about, well, sorry about putting one in so early. Hmm. Hey, okay, I return. All right, and I looked up a, a hints site, uh, basically the same one as we used with the last game. And yeah, I made one dumb mistake, forgot to talk with him. <clears throat> uh, let's see. First one, two. It looks like Vakir took the moment to step away as well. Let's see. I see you've already stripped some of the materials from here. We need to trace that stuff for the investigation. Do you have a record of where it has gone? Sure, I have a manifest of what's been taken and where we sent it onto. Okay, one manifest. Okay, now we can use the car to go around. So, where to begin the search? Okay, we've got the switchboard, we've got the junkyard, the TV station again, and the auction house. Let's start at the junkyard. Let's see. How welcoming. It says, beware the... And then dogs is scratched out and they've written in animals. I've got a good feeling about that. Yeah. This is handy. I've been playing on a trip back out here for a while. Back? Do you come here often? 
Eh, I'm a student who hunts ghosts in the side. The junkyard is where I do my thrift shopping, detective. Mark, 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 mark. I'm pretty sure that sign doesn't say beware the Drakir. Hello, all, I'm back. Yep. Oh, these things again? I thought we got rid of them. No, no, long coat back again. Two smillion pockets. No, 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 like. These guys? I thought they were locked away. No way. Are, are these gremlins, like, for real? As in everything they touch breaks? That's them. Dooley and I locked them away safely in a magic urn in the station. Though, not sure how they got here. Why did I get the feeling that Dooley broke it? Oh, no, he was already, um, gone, I think. I think when they cleaned out the station for his uh, things, they probably found that he just threw it away. Yeah, and broke it. Familiar looking box? This box is labeled Dorkside Trash. Hey, this is a box of my stuff. The king must have thrown our case files out when the division was closed down. Hold it! Yeah, that might explain how the gremlins came to be here. I bloody called it! Yep. I bet one might uh, one matching pair of socks that this uh, will find its way into my local laundrette uh, inside of the next seven days. Who owns a pair of matching socks? All my socks match. If I end up with a stray sock, it goes into the naughty bag. Matching socks are like the front of cereal packets. It's a serving suggestion. I hope we find Dooley soon. This partnership is never gonna work out. Hey. Wait, what? <laughs> She's smarter than him. Right, I'm confused. But, 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 don't more people mostly want to have matching socks? Yeah, but, yeah, there honestly isn't any real reason as to why we'd go to different ones. <clears throat> I wonder what happened to that. Stay away, sticky thing anger. Gram no going pants and again <laughs> no going pants again. Would it help any if I said he was unconscious at the time? <laughs> Carton of spoiled food. Stupid lady only give good uh, food uh, only give good food. Want one junk food. What good uh, junk uh, yard with no junk food? He's got a bit of a point. Bleep 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 bleep. Me like noise machine. Bleep bleep. Yep, he's got a Game Boy. Family wagon. We had one of these when I was a kid. I should not have been driving so young. Old tube of solvents. A half-used uh, can of solvents. Soon to be a fully used can. Old fridge. Smell food. Pull, pull, pull it out. I think they're hungry. Wait, Spike! Yep. And then pull hop. Pull, pull, uh, pull, pull the buzz, buzz. No fuel fingers no more. Still breaking every machine you touch, I see. That's a reference, car. Captain. No. Do Gremlins movie, I'm guessing? Yes, I think the original Mohawk one was called Spike. When I think about it, yeah. I wonder if I can feather a horse's ghost to this and get it running again. Okay. Was it called muscle cars? Yep. There's a family of raccoons in here, and they don't seem happy to see us. It was hard to get a ghost out of a truck once. It turned out it was just pigeons roosting in it. They were ghost pigeons, but still, just not that exciting. <laughs> Honestly, with uh, with movies and series that go with the supernatural, I would want to see just the. Uh, ordinary supernatural a lot more like a, f a freaking ghost pigeon or infestation or something like that nothing harmful or really dangerous just really freaking annoying <laughs> could be used for comedy let's see look there are the wires there, there go the wires oh no they're gonna get crushed we need to stop this machine yeah, there they are but they can't reach them through the fence Excuse me. Sorry, I can't hear you over the pistons repressurizing my, uh, for my next crush. Damn it, we don't have much time. We need to get this machine offline fast. Old pillar. Broken bit of pillar. That still looks functional. How do we save it? 
can't see a way to get to the other side of this fence. A good door. The machine seems to be ray pressurizing its pistons to go again. We need to find a way to break the pressure before it flattens the wires. How are we going to break something that size? I don't know, but this is a junkyard. There's gotta be something around here we can use. Gremlins. Locked, of course. Employees only. I think we're going to hear that a lot. A warning light, in case the giant metal frame and grinding noises didn't alert you enough. Let's throw gremlins at it! Clicked out of the game accidentally. Mm -hmm. Let's manifest. This says the book was sent to an auction house for resale. The wires seem to have been scrapped. The transceiver's listing has been scratched out. I wonder where it went. Okay, we need to get them food or something. Actually... Hmm, no, we can't help them with opening that. Hmm. Let's see, I'm not seeing anything new here. So, time to go look somewhere else, I guess. It, really? Is it just me, or does looking at this make you feel like you're in another dimension? The bubbles, they're so round, so many dimensions. Hello? Moldy sandwiches, half eaten hot dogs, rock hard porridge, yet all your festering food needs met here. Really? Twin Lakes is finest purveyor of gone off food. Is that a thing? A thing people want? People at auction houses like old things, buy not old foods. I serve gourmet food sourced locally from the bins of Twin Lakes finest restaurants at a fraction of the price. Here, try some stale pizza crust in the house. Uh, thanks. Okay, first well, of all, I guess we know what we need. I'm not sure that's illegal. Yes. And secondly, wrong clientele. I think feeding him here will help me get that crusher offline. Oh, did we just throw the crusts at it? They should lure the gremlins out here. I was right. Now to figure out a way to grab those wires. Not so fast. Really? That's cheating. Give those back. Nuh uh. I'm sick of these boys breaking my machines. If you want these wires, you'll need to find me some stronger tech to power all this. Okay. Yee, belt no match for Spike. Big machine tastes like metal. Yum yum pig's bum. <laughs> it's broken now. I need to find some sturdy tech to repair this with so she'll release the wires. Okay. Click out the game again. Don't need to be a bit more careful with that. Okay, let's actually check inside now. And Yorks of so Gotham at Bee's auction house, where even your sanity has a price. Explains uh. the artwork. How much for this Fabergé acorn? Let me see. Wow, the coloring, the fine detail, the... Wait a second. It's fake. It had the wrong number of scales painted on the cup... No, the... Kapul? Kapul? Whatever. Oh, I can fix that. Not a problem. I'll just add a few more. There are really too many. Yep, yep, of course. Remove a few, I hear you. But no, it's a fake now. I'm not being a fake. Even if it looks good. Ah, uh, lady, you're killing me here. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Very fair. You can't buy from me. I gotcha. Now my, uh, twin, identical and always bored that he's got a fake, uh, real mustache. Can you buy it from him? Please leave. <laughs> uh, what a load of rubbish. Into the trash with this. Yeah, we're so grabbing that. Uh, hello. This painting looks like us, but in some green, foggy place. And I wouldn't stare at that for too long. Oh. Is that a screenshot from one of the previous cases? Also, I think... I think we've seen these things in the... <laughs> I think we've seen these things in the museum in the last game. Yeah, and that book looks concerning. The world's first ever trophy, awarded to the artist for trophy making. This claims to be the horned skull of an imp. 
Song from a stone in England. <laughs> I just love it when people just take the piss with Excalibur and just basically rip the entire damn stone out with it, or, in this case, just saw the thing through. <laughs> that explains the missing tip. Wait, hold on, I just remember something. Hmm? The Sword in Stone is not Excalibur. Yep. The Excalibur is gifted by the Lady in the Lake, if I recall correctly. Indeed, just... Many accidentally make the mistake, and of course, many movie makers spread that mistake. Yeah. In a way, it's just funnier to mix the two up or something. <clears throat> the crab rich people spend their money on. Think of all the healthcare that could be bought with this money. You can't put a universal healthcare on a, a plinth in your foyer, foyer and use it to make your rich friends feel lesser, young lady. And it looks like the book we need. That's the confusing scribbles of a dark side artifact. There's no way I can just take the thing with all this security. I guess I need to find something to swap it with. It was even a few pages would be enough. That was a phone book. Yep. A block. I thought it was the Necronomicon. <laughs> would wouldn't it be utterly hilarious if it just turned out that? Uh, the Necronomicon was just a phone book from an alternate dimension. Uh, Hill? You, you know what the Necronomicon is and does, right? Yeah, summon the dead and all that. Yes, yeah, so still you... would be utterly hilarious if you're actually... If the only reason you're, and you end up summoning Cthulhu is because you accidentally rang his number. You're very much uh, doing a, the most ridiculous, but kind of correct description of the Necronomicon. <laughs> That's what they're putting out! The thing some people will try to sell us as if uh, they are some kind of, you know, yeah, as if we're some kind of pawn shop. Some guy tried to sell me a homemade clay urn with strange markings. Damn it, the king. Another tried to give us a slimy computer saying it belonged to a lake monster. Damn it, Dooley! Another tried to sell us a bald cap and fungal beard saying it was from another dimension. Damn it, me! <laughs> All references to previous cases. If he's just gonna go into trash it, we might as well take it. You always take stuff from the trash? Oh yes, most of it's not even useful. I have a lot of broken light bulbs, chewed gum, and old resting receipts in here. Oh. I'm banned from all the good dry cleaners. <laughs> uh, it, that must... This, that coat of his must fucking reek. Yeah. That sure is a painting. It sure is. Whatever it's meant to be, it sure looks like it. I never noticed it before, but you look a bit like Caesar. Et tu, Raxa? <laughs> Apply to face for possession. Uh, do you get which, uh, what this reference is? Yeah, so, something that someone earlier mentioned that gave you a delivery box. <laughs> yeah, this is a reference to Loki's mask from, well, THE mask. Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. <laughs> it's just a bit bluer. This soul jar contains seven souls, one of which is very good and two are very bad. What about the other four? Oh dear, it actually reminds me. Apparently, the mask has done a crossover with Batman. Yeah. I guess who wore his mask? The Joker. Uh, but that's that's, the, that's, the, that's not the Jim Carrey mask, that's the original uh, Big Hat mask, aka the murderous one. Oh. This would be great to play games on. Just think how CRISPR pixels would look on something this size. Hey, Guy, is this being auctioned today? No, that's part of the normal setup here. Not for sale. That's a shame. You just lost out on seeing me underbid and getting outpriced almost immediately. The auctioneer's podium, that's probably the only place I can get my actual hands and pages from the book. If we had something to replace them with, that's where we uh, could do the switch. Okay. So okay, that makes sense with the stash of your... Yoxosoft has been described as being over spheres. 
Mm -hmm. This chair is worth more than my entire apartment. Mine too. Pretty sure these are just folding chairs, so... This place is so fancy it has to be sinister. Not another one. Look, the auction isn't happening until the auctioneer is back. Back? From where? I don't know. I think he went to one of the piers to get cookies or something equally rubbish and irresponsible. Alright, auctioneer is only back there. No hammer, no enter. We just come back with a sledgehammer. <laughs> they just go touche, still no. He said pier. Yep. We don't have that here. Rhyme. I but... think he went to meet some deep ones. Yes. Hmm. I wonder if the item scratched off the manifest can be found at this mysterious address. Only one way to find out. Let's mark it on the map. Can we... There's still a... Yeah, okay. <laughs> of course. Oh, also I forgot. So, uh, falling info, I will have to double check. But seems, if true, Capcom finally announced they're making a new Dino Crisis, along with other games. Okay. I think Fire Breath? Uh, Breath of Fire, I mean. Breath of Fire, <laughs> they're also making. <laughs> okay, that could be interesting. I've never played any Dino Crisis or Breath of Fire games. But if they, re if they do make some new Dino Crisis games, I wouldn't be up against streaming them, potentially. Yeah, I hope to, they make a remake that helps them to make a, a series a bit more smoother. Yeah, seeing as every game in the series played very different from each other, I believe. Yeah, two first one was good, the other ones... Some interesting concept, but rather also awkward execution, especially the third one. <clears throat> Let's see why somebody would have a hidden address for this place. That reminds me of... Mm, what was the name of that game? I think I mentioned it a few once. They basically got uh, one of the main characters from Dino Crisis as a skin for that. Uh... Exo Primal. Yeah, Exo Primal. I, I've heard both good and bad things about it, but I'll probably take another look at that because, well, it's a horde shooter where you're just killing a ton of dinosaurs. <clears throat> I have heard that it supposedly has improved over the years, but I'll have to do more research on that. <clears throat> For now, uh, probably to do with the secret black market that's here. For what now? Hey, it's your nemesis. Poor guy looks angry. Probably out of work thanks to the robots. A painted, oh! metal, <laughs> a painted metal hoop. Probably not entirely fit for purpose. Unless you're trying to kill someone. What did you say about the black market? That this is where it's located? What kind of stuff are we talking here? Usually, bl uh, usual black market stuff, really. Magical doodads, questionable bargains, people's credit card details, a lot of laundry detergent for some reason. <laughs> Money laundering. A robot animal salesperson. What can I do for you? A bit more embarrassing. Need a robotic groomy, a mechanical mate, or a cybernetic hunting hound? Picks up cash, card, check, meat, of course, berries, honey in all forms, and porridge. But uh, only if the temperature is just right. <laughs> Wait. Honey in all its forms. Yep. Honeystone. Robot animals. Robo now this little monkey man would love a new home, don't you think? When his kind evolve and take over the planets, you'll be glad to have one of them on your side. A pair of lovebirds. All the joy of seeing two birds programmed to be in love. None of the pesky emotions were clean up. Hello? Now you know me, Vince. I'm the last regular human person to have an opinion or agenda. We just... We just jumbo jet, met. Heck, where would I even get one of these things? At the perfectly normal human college I went to? No, no, no. That's not the kind of bear human guy I am. 
But animals should be left to roam freely, don't you think? Free to wander the streets for hungry bears to eat. Why, that's just the natural order of things. Small, juicy animals at the bottom, normal two-legged, two-armed, fordless people like us in the middle, and a majestic bear at the top eating whatever they want. Carefree and no, with no fear of retribution. But what about humans like you and me, you cry. Our tedious not bear life is empty save for my tasty little pal to keep me company. Hey. And that, Vince, is where my animal robots come in. Programmed with all the love and affection you could want, but without the bad behavior, toilet manners, and inaccessibility to hungry, hungry bears. It's a win-win situation, really. Win-win-win, <laughs> even. Don't touch that. You'll turn the entire pier, of course. <laughs> Lee. Mark's IT's Soviet tech. Like the look of that? It's some special offer today. What's the offer? It's a you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours kind of thing. Go on. Well, I can see you're wearing an L uh, TL's, uh, yeah, TLTV's visitor's badge. And I saw you on TV earlier advertising something sad. Anyway, I want some TV time like that for my business. So I recorded an advert. You use your media connections and get this aired and the, un you, the unspecified foreign tech is yours. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Cool. Now, whereabouts on the back do you want your <laughs> do you want scratched? I need the lower back done, please. It's been annoying me for ages, and my arms just can't reach. <laughs> Not that kind of scratching, dude. Oh, poor lover. And also, anyone else getting red flags from the bear? <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that is that is totally just a bear in a suit. <laughs> for a second, I thought uh, it meant that there are robots that sells animals, but no, that's a, that's, that's a fucking bear. Well, uh, a lot of reference I got from him was the whole uh, bears be on top and all that. Uh, in general, bears don't really give a fuck about humans unless they're actually hungry or threatened. Or threatened basically meaning you, them being hungry, or you being in their territory or near their offspring. That's one way to set them off real easy. Yeah. The most bears don't want, want to be near humans to begin with. So if you walk in the forest and being loud, they know that you're there and know how to avoid you. Yeah. I think there was a, not really a rhyme or something, but a sort of shorthand about how to react to certain types of bears. Like brown, get down, black, fight back, and white, uh, bye bye, because the only reason you'd run into a a snow, a, a polar bear is where if you're on the Arctic, and if you're on the Arctic, uh, and you're near one, uh, your food. Uh, Captain, that's kind of incorrect. Hmm? Oh, the was correct once. Okay. Uh, the polar bears have moved into Canada and Alaska and bred with the grizzlies. Uh, yeah, so I think can... I heard about that. Yeah, and the hybrids are fertile. <laughs> oh, great. Just one of the very cutting-edge uh, pieces of tech we sell here. It's a radio. Wanna buy a mostly working TV? Eh, no. Well, hold up now, detective. In what way is it only mostly working? Well, everything works except the power switch. How much? <laughs> I get the feeling this guy would work at my play, at where I work. Anyways. Excuse me, is this the way to the secret black market? Well, it depends whether you know the password or not. Password? Oh, you, you do know it. Welcome, friend. <laughs> in you go and enjoy yourself. And remember, no cops. It's law. Uh. Well, is it detective? The Twin Lakes Black Market. Hmm. Um. Spook. <laughs> Spooky doorway. The developers. <laughs> They're closed down and made and turned into the toilets. Uh, look under the sign. Do you see something that should not be here? Uh, well, the A kids mother and her child? Yeah. Like, sure, normal market's fine, but in a black market? At the risk of sounding like I'm flirting, do you come here often? Eh, often enough. It's the best place for getting mystical vo voodoo. 
You've done a good job of shutting everything else down. Once we find Dooley and get the div division back on its feet, I'm going to have to come for this place too. You know that, right? What do you think I didn't tell you about this place? Sus, babes. <laughs> okay. What am I gonna wish for? That's, uh, loads of money, eternal youth, world peace. That all sounds good, but I think I just want a giant trifle. Like, huge, big enough to swim in. Trifle? What? I hope this isn't a giant marshmallow man mug kind of moment. As a world peace? I, I, I think the kid misspoke that. Yeah. It, make a wish. I wish I was the wish giver. Mechanical clairvoyance. Quiet your fleshy word hole. Zolt no, Zoltar is about to dispense some powerful wisdom. Your cat has too many eyes. Eh? Mm -hmm. Brown is not a good color for you. Your lucky number is Tractor. It's also your pin number. <laughs> it actually is. Okay. Misfortune cookies. The fortune cookies market is saturated. I'm making a niche for myself. What's all this rubbish? Oh, bits and bobs, magical stuff. You wouldn't understand. Wait, wait. You don't know, do you? That merchant is a reference. Yeah. Nope, not sure if any of it even does anything, frankly. I buy it cheap in bulk and sell it at a massive markup here. Capitalism, the only legal form of robbery. That's another, I think that's another Gripple reference from the guy that uh, had the, the Mogwai. Okay, aka the Gremlins. Yes. <clears throat> Let's see. This cookie contains no fortune, that's it. This is <laughs> that's your misfortune. Don't touch that. For perfectly safe reasons that you know, won't get me arrested. Want to buy a gold plate of the cats? Are those banned books? If I'm selling them, they're legal. That's the law. Bun in the coven. What do you expect when you're witch specting? Workplace or culture? Turn your cabal into a summoning safe space. And the book of unsympathetic magic. You did this to yourself. You sound pretty suspect to me. Yeah, but you're a cop. You're paid to find things to be suspicious about. Yes, we are. I'm damn... F fucking McKing, what are you doing here? Well, look who it is, oh. Detective no McNo Partner. Can you know about the black market? <laughs> of course I do. All the cool cats of Twin Lake do. I'm not surprised to find you didn't, dork. You know this is all illegal, right? That's why it's called the black market. God, you're such a dork for the law. You should marry the law. Marry it and have little legal babies. What are you even doing here? The best cookies in the city are down there to the right. They are, they are so good, there's always a queue for them. Unless you're a badass cop who can confiscates nerds' cookies. <laughs> and before you even think about asking, no, I'm not sharing. Get your own. You probably love queues. You're gonna marry the law and then have an affair with a queue. That's how boring you are. Didn't we lock this fucker up into the evidence room? And again, they let him out eventually. I have a partner. I just don't know where he is yet. But Rax and me are gonna find him. Then you'll look pretty dumb. I don't know if somebody with hair like that can even look dumb, can ever look dumb. She gets it. Not you too, Raxa. Mm. Hey, McQueen? Yeah? I hope you do find Dooley. Thanks. It feels less mean bullying two dorks, you know? Of course. The transceiver! You bought it! What did you pay for it? Also, give it to me! No way, police don't have any power here. The black market is like neutral territory. Yeah, that's definitely not true. I'm pretty sure it is. This is like neutral territory, but neutral in the sense that it's pro me and anti you. Okay, let's finally talk to the guy. You? I thought we'd warded this place against people like you. By which I mean you. Only you. Who sold you that transceiver and what did they want for it? Not saying. What kind of black market or cult dealer would I be if I ratted on every person buying curses, voodoo dolls, or flying cauldrons? My business would crumble if people thought there was no confidentiality. 
Was it the guy dressed as a builder? What's a builder? Was his name Bob? I need um. that transceiver. What's it worth? Nothing, I'm confiscating it. Police business. <laughs> you can't. Your division was closed down. You don't have the power to take things just because they look spooky anymore. I'll be sure to let you know if it goes above the speed limit, though. When did you hear that? I move in certain circles, talk to certain people. I'm a connected man. Also, my first name is probably Low. McKing? Uh, what do I need to do? What do I need to do to get it then? Hmm. Oh, I know. Sinister cackle. <laughs> or I mean, sinister cackle. My business is suffering because of another cookie factory down the road. Put him out of business, and the thingy is yours. Click of duty, detective. I'll see what I can do. What are Miss Fortune cookies? Cookies of a more pessimistic punter. Best eaten with a glass of milk that's half empty. What happened to your shop? Burned down mysteriously after your visit, but coincidentally before the cops you sent to search the place had arrived. Oh, now I remember you. You're... He was behind the whole zombie thing, or... No? I think he sold the uh, urn that had the gremlins in them. Yeah, I feel like the more we talk to him, the more it's fair to be like, yes, he's a reference, but I feel we have actually met him before. Yeah. The universe is pretty random, right? Goodbye. It, getting called again. A good friend is more like. Give me a second. And back. Okay, they got ice cream from me again, but instead of one of those tubs, they got. Uh, uh, what do we even describe it? You know when you were, when you get uh, in a lot of places with those uh, <clears throat> where you can get ice cream, that you can either get a cone or like a cup. No, it's a cup yeah. this time, and it's uh, it's already melting a bit. So. <clears throat> I'll need to work on this fast. I did put a okay, dish wow, underneath right. it. So if it does melt, it won't get on my desk. <clears throat> I haven't seen those... Uh, I think it's the code. I think with the code cone cups. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> Organ bucket. Uh, Second-hand hands that run like new. Our dedicated necronologists work the graveyard shift to make meet your needs organically. Okay, I'll give them points for puns. Man with tiny hammer? Oh my god, I'm gonna be late, late, late. Do I care? I do not. I want those cookies and I want them bad. Uh, oh, I remember necronologists would technically be the proper name for many necromancers you see in games. Yeah. Oh dear. <clears throat> the ice cream came with one of those thin waffles. <clears throat> this must be the shop Wang, uh, Wang once closed down. This seems to look inside. <clears throat> okay. I originally thought he meant. Um, I originally thought McKinney meant the misfortune cookies, but yeah, this makes more sense. 
What are all these people queuing for? The sea had cookies, by the looks of it. It's quite an eclectic <laughs> queue. Sea hack soggy biscuits. The flavor is in the wetness. We can just skip the queue. You're next, honey. What can I uh, do here for him? Oh, huh. I'm not sure. I wish I could buy the lot. Well, I sure as heck ain't gonna stop you. Yeah? I mean, I wish I could afford to. You have fixed assets, don't you? A car, house, family, stuff you can sell. Oh, huh. I can't sell that stuff. Ask yourself this. Does any of that stuff make you feel as good as your delicious, freshly brined biscuits? Oh gosh, you have me there. Something seems off here. Very. Yeah, this sounds like a... Uh, if... Trading in your firstborn stuff. Wait, hold on. Look at the four of the girls. The hag mother. Capped hag. Oop. Buff hag. Blue hag. Why? Aren't these a bit young to be hags? Yeah, look. Captain. Hmm? They are Girl Scouts. Yeah. This play <laughs> seems to... Oh, sorry. No, no, not at all. Did you want to... Gosh, no, please. It's your game. Um, okay, anyway. I think we've agreed this is pretty suspicious. They do taste magical. Like kissing the girl of your dreams or riding a roller coaster for the first time or kissing the roller coaster or... <laughs> Shut up. Um... <clears throat> they offer ocean sprayed mints, brine biscuits, caramel and sea salt cookies. That's actually probably pretty good. Saline snacks and tsunami s'mores. Well, I'm afraid all the, you know, those cookies have been pre-ordered, so I can take your details and then massive down payment for the next batch if you like. Maybe later. No free samples, I'm afraid. Well, you're, you're, you're gonna have to join the queue like all the other Id idiosyncratic customers. Oh, look, see here, girls. A bona fide man of the law. What can we do here for, detective? Oh, nothing, just browsing. Browsing is comp for snooping. Kitty Wallop with <laughs> Wampus? <laughs> now, now, Millicent. Now, why? I'm sure the nice man and his lost friend have the very best of intentions. I'm not lost. Oh, I don't know what about that, honey. You look like you need some discipline in your life, some guidance. Why well, you should consider joining the Sea Hags and giving yourself over to the Deep Mother. The Deep Mother? Why well, she's the metaphorical goddess in all of us. And of course, the very real goddess deep in the ocean waiting for the sea levels to rise and drown the land folk who forsook her. Soon may she rise. Soon may she rise. Soon may she rise. I might pass, thanks. Well, that's about, uh, that's, yeah, both your choice and your loss, honey. Hope you can swim, lady. You're a quiet one. Mama said never to talk to a policeman. Mama harbored some institution uh, institutionalized sexism, but I think deep down she meant never talk to the police. <laughs> what you looking at? A chump like you can't control where he's snoop and don't deserve eyes. Hear that? Night batch almost ready. Hell yeah. Heck yeah, Mel Melisant. There's no room for potty mouse under the sea. <laughs> Wait, we can actually go there? Nope. One more step, bub, and I'ma play you like an accordion. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Alleyway. Uh, uh, hello, Hagrid. I see you've fallen on some bad times. For some reason, first, the first moment I first saw the character, I thought, Rum? <laughs> okay, the ice cream is melting pretty quickly. Just open your maw and shove it in. No. <laughs> for one, <laughs> brain freeze. For two, I eat, I'd end up eating the entire damn cup. True. Couldn't breathe this is freed ice cream. I have got a bit of beer freeze from drinking water, however. Okay. Hmm. I, I can't recall if I ever had brain freeze myself, but it could just be that I 
well, repressed a very un <laughs> unhappy memory of that. Yeah, I heard it's horrible. Like, again, when I did it from water, it was for a very short, mild moment. But I've seen uh, people who have a very painful reaction for it. Hmm. And what actually happens with it is that the cold causes the uh, <clears throat> the cold causes the veins in the brain, or parts of the brain, to contract, which basically simulates a migraine. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I think I cleared out most of what could melt over the edge. <clears throat> Good time, Charlie. Well, hey there, little fellow. You looking for a good time? Uh, so you must be the one leaving all those for a good time calls something something on the on public restaurant and public restroom walls. The name's Charlie, and I like hanging out. Want to go skydiving? Invite your old pal Charlie. Need a buddy for a dangerous climb? Then Charlie's your man. Want to race down the wrong side of the highway and stare death in the eyes? Charlie is in. So, want to do something? We can't. We're in the middle of something. Sorry. Oh, man. Nobody wants to hold, hang out with old Charlie. I'm so bored. I wish I had something fun to do while I wait for somebody to want to hang with me. Hmm. If we could move this bin, we I could get into the vents. Let's do it. Uh, it's too heavy for just the two of us. I guess we could call... It, we could ask him to help. Mm-hmm. Or not. Uh, oh. Uh, Italy, are you looking for a good time? Mm hmm. There was more added on this time. Uh -huh. You could help us move you know, this bin? Oh, yeah, you're right. I could help with that. Thanks. Sorry, I mean, I could help, but I won't. It's like four seconds fun for Charlie. I'm an extremely, uh, extreme life kind of guy. This bin is no challenge. And then you'll be gone, and Charlie will be here alone with nothing to do. Just tell me this. What's Charlie gonna do for fun once the bins is pushed and you folks are gone, eh? Telling me here twiddling my thumbs. Okay. This leads into the back of the Sea Hack building. Uh, way. I can't reach it. Need to find another way. Okay, I we need to have get some uh, animal. Oh, alright. I was thinking of the Game Boy from the Young Yard. <clears throat> Why? Why would you offer this delicious-looking honeystone to me, a normal person with no strong affinity towards honey? I'm not sure yet, but my gut says I should swap it with something you have. Like what? I don't know. Let me see. You an unknown person? I have a cat. Well, a cat won't kill robotic birds. Take them home. Fill your apartment with the emotionless joys of fake pets. They're like fake plants, but even less rewarding. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, uh, sweet and soft brown honeystone, bringing back entirely bare free memories of my youth. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Can we give those to him? No. Hmm. Maybe so. Maybe I'm. Let's go back to Young God and see for if that Game Boy is still there. Yeah, then we should grab it. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Those grumblings have their shots. The old one might have tetanus now, if not. Yep, oh, broken console. You was playing with a joy child. But it seems the screen's broken. There's only sounds coming from it now. Hmm. Okay, so we anyone who is easily Amused by noises could work. Let's see. Oh, they finally got rid of them. You again? I hope you didn't bring more screaming children with you to ruin my life. My love life. Uh, no start here. Yeah. Knock knock. Nobody is in there. Wait, Roy Jones. Jones. That face. I recognize that face. Your the. Hmm. Was it the first mission in the last game? The father? 
Not sure. So can we stick this in there? No. Okay, we need some way to get into the editing room then. Hmm. Also, I do like that they have this instead of it. Not that. I don't recall what I was trying to do. Yeah, like he had some stupid idea and forgot at the moment he start tried to act on it. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, we need to sabotage the cookie factory to get both the auctioneer to <clears throat> and the transceiver. How do we do that? Uh, I just saw someone in the line having the same coat as you, just a bit different color. Uh, yeah, that's the, au the auctioneer. <clears throat> would you actually... Would this help with your boredom? Oh gosh, I'm mighty thankful, little fellow. But I'm not sure what fun there is to be had in a broken console. Hmm. So we need to get that fixed somehow. Yeah, for is someone actually was right. Again. <clears throat> sometimes I my suggestions I feel like that's probably not it, but my user suggested just in case. And I've been surprised right a lot of times. Can you fix this? Hmm, looks like the disc discombobulator has been shaken loose. You just have to reattach it like this. Here you go. Thanks, how much for the repair? It's free to an old-timer like you. I like to do charity work for the elderly, so, you know, when it's my time to join the ranks, they vote me in. Vote you in? Yep, you hit retirement age and either they accept you or your Logan's run, and anyway, put in a good word for me, okay? I'm not that... You know what, thanks. <laughs> okay. One working handheld console. Here, take this. This should keep you entertained until something better comes along. Wow, we. This is a cheaper we, uh, uh, we fella. How can I repay you? You could help us move this bin. It's already done in about four seconds. When it's actually done. <laughs> Just shove. <laughs> Come on, Orange Rookies. Sit in with T. Wee and Smash Boys so Papa can up this row. Yep, <laughs> he's playing Tetris. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. No, thank you. This tiny device should keep me entertained until somebody finds my number on the bathroom wall and calls me for a good time. I called it. Oh, they got me. S oh, yeah, it's so even. disappointed. Yeah, they, they, they're in a full surprise. <clears throat> I should be able to wriggle through. I'll stay out here and keep watch. That's a bad excuse to duly use your gifts. That's not an excuse, I'm being helpful. Hmm, suspicious. Oh, hello. What the hell is going on here? I'm no paste here, but I don't think this is how cookies are normally made. Okay? These cages seem to be connected to that bat. It seems to be full of some liquid that's coming from pipes above. Uh, Polly makes crackers? Let's see. We fair maidens give ourselves to the ocean and the things that live there. We pledge that what is dark and deep and hidden guides us to rise to sea level so uh, she may, who may never rise above the surface can reclaim the lands. To sell cookies for good deals. See how know that morality is subjective. All in the name of the deep mother is good and right, and also just. Hmm. I would say deeds, not deals. <clears throat> okay, the ice cream is pretty melty, so yeah, it's it's spilled over the size of the cup, so it makes it a bit annoying to grab. Let's see. An oven conveyor belt. Low-grade cookie dough goes in one end, and it, you know, it 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 cooks, and then this liquid gets sprayed on. But 
What's with the birds? Boxes of ingredients conveniently stocked up for an easy escape route. Yeah. Okay, someone with some sort of tool is outside. Probably, yeah, probably cutting down the bush that separates the, <clears throat> the alleyway to the next house. They're pumping them out at a pretty high volume. Marks of grease? Hmm, the cookies. I should take some back to the folks in the forensics lab. I say, knowing we have no forensics lab. Let's see, I... These look like lovebirds, I think. The screeching, beautiful tones at the not each other. Another. I think they're draining the love emotions from these birds and baking it into the cookies. That will explain why everyone is so crazy for these cookies. Maybe if I can replace the birds with something that has a different emotional energy, people won't want to eat them anymore. I should close this place down. I don't oh. think these birds would pass for the real ones. I need to cover off the metal in their coating first. Otherwise the hacks will notice the swap before it takes effect. Baking with love... Made with, <laughs> made with love, quite literally. And here was word that there was something else they were using the birds for, like... Life force. Was me, what? Life force or an even worse option. Yeah, I was, I was worried that the cooks came from the birds, like... The rear end. Yeah. Okay, so we need to paint them somehow. Hmm. We've seen paint, but it was only white paint. And it was empty all the same. It's, they seem like normal cookies, they're a little more moist. Uh, I hate that word. <laughs> yeah, it, that moist is for some reason just un, an uncomfortable word. Yeah, I don't get it. Like, some of us I can feel like, okay, that should not feel moist. Like, socks? Yeah. But, just the word itself? I... I never understood why people have a reaction to that word. Yeah, perhaps because it reminds him of moist socks or such like, you know, some stuff like such. Also, I just realized what that I forgot to say. I know what all the painting is in there. The mushroom thing? It's a pot of flowers. Let's see. How the heck can oh. we paint those things? Organ bucket? We can't enter there. Okay, I think I'll look, need to look up a hint on this. Yeah, I'm unsure as well at the moment. Okay, let's see. I do like that these hints are sectioned off into different bits. Um, let's see. Wires, maybe? Mm hmm. No. Um. Phone book. <clears throat> Actually, no. I'll we'll probably need to go for the transceiver specifically with these hints. Mm hmm. Yeah, Wang. Okay, that's not really helpful with these hints since it just. It just points to where they, they are, but not how to get them. So maybe these hints aren't the best, it seems. Hmm. Okay, where could we get these stupid things painted? Hmm. 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 I 
think the... Hmm. Let's see. Uh, wires. This. Mm -hmm. Stronger tech. Yeah, pier. Okay, these hints really are not that good because it it points you towards things, but it doesn't really tell you too well how to possibly do things. Okay. So let's aim some more direction. Let's sabotage the cookie factory. Yeah. Uh -huh. Another vent. Back at the store. Sabotage the cookie machine. Two lovebirds. Yeah. Replace the birds. Okay. I think I found some bird. paint. After robotic birds. Need more color. Look for some paint. Face paint, to be exact. Oh. Oh. Okay, the I makeup. think of this. Yeah, the makeup. I was I was wondering, do we need a mustard and ketchup? <laughs> but yeah, okay, the makeup was, makes more sense. Yeah, I was thinking of that we'd have to find actual paint, not makeup. Okay, th th yeah, th this is me just not managing to connect the dots. A slap of this, it does dance. Yeah, I will see. I was ready to find around what they would use as a makeshift paint, for they'd be using a lot of makeshift options. Yeah. Uh, we'll have these bots looking real in no time. Painted birds. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> Sometimes you just need a hint uh, for stuff like this. Otherwise, you can be stuck on stuff like this for hours. Yeah, and this was one us for forgetting about the. There were very specific mentions on the make. Uh, uh, yep. <laughs> I should. Uh, have, I should not have expected any better, should I? Okay, be free, little love birds. In you go, robotic doubles. Yep. Oh, something is certainly different. I don't want any more. How strange. Get out. Uh, it looks green. It closed? What do I do for a cookie now? Uh, Miss Wampus. Yes, Millicent. Something ain't right with the dot at Shovin. Other cookies. They've gone green. Oh no. Oh no. Detective, I want to report a. I'm not sure. Some kind of sabotage. What the cop did it? Well, me, I would. I never. This is not me, that's for sure. Look, he's having a guilt stroke. <laughs> I'm heartbroken. I nursed every cookie like it was baked in my own oven at home. You had a machine making them, you had nothing to do with them. They're just outright crying. Our work, our beautiful work. If I find whoever did you know, this, I'm gonna feed them to the very real and little sharks. Those cookies are free, you know, have freed up <laughs> if you're still looking. Hard pass. Drat it all the heck. Also, they call that a Dutch oven? Apparently. Like, I know that's supposed to be a thing, but even I... I, I don't know what that specifically means, and I'm freaking Dutch. <clears throat> Maybe it's just normal oven for you in that case. You? Uh, I did the thing. I can see. Everyone's so miserable. That's my target audience, though. So sales are through the roof. Oh, cheer up. Your phone is ruining. It's ruining? Yes, it's just ruining. A general ruiner. I hate it. Smile or GTFO. <laughs> Go try frowning on their way. <laughs> what is worth, Detective? But those kids were at, were at is far worse than this. I guess. Anyway, a deal is a deal. Here's your transceiver. Enjoy transceiving. Okay, goodbye. Good riddance, more like. Okay, we can put that thing back there. Okay, there. Here's the transceiver. 
I don't know what that does. Science. Pseudoscience? One of those. Doesn't work without it, though. Hmm. Okay. Now, what the heck are we to do with this? If ever Jay Acorn, you know, Pete tried to pass off at the auction house. Uh, are you sure something here, Captain? Hmm? Normally, these, like in the old game, these could take like uh, two or three hours, like we had one case per episode. Yep. But we still on this one, maybe like over two hours in. Yep, they're definitely longer. Or maybe I'm just taking longer to, well, <laughs> figure things out. Anyways, you. Are these what you're looking for? Oh, sweet divine, how did you get these and what uh, do you want for them? I have to hang up some paintings. Could I borrow your tiny hammer? I shouldn't give this out, but I have a powerful need for cookies. Sure thing, just don't go pretending to be an auctioneer or something. You'll find yourself in over your head. Okay. <laughs> he just yum yums. How are the cookies? Oh lord, it's like eating, eating ambrosia. The nectar of the gods is in my mouth. I'm so happy. <laughs> I thought we were just going to get him to get back to freaking work. Somehow no. that feels like a, a sentence you could hear from you when you're eating your favorite mushrooms or something. <laughs> What's this? The auctioneer hammer. My auctioneer hammer. Yours? Mine. I have the coat, the hammer, the fast talking skills needed to trick you and pull off an auction despite no prior experience. I'm the guy. I can't say I'm entirely convinced, uh, but they uh, clicked accidentally. If you don't help them get rid of their money soon, they'll get money poisoning and start doing mad rich people things like hunting the poor, doing unwanted missionary work, or worse, becoming landlords. <laughs> We're doing God's work. <laughs> yep. Soviet manual? An installation manual for old Soviet tech. It says you only need two installation tools, a hammer and a sickle. I have to imagine that the screwdriver would be handy too. Okay, that was that was a good one. <laughs> this looks like a box of pants from a house move that somehow got mixed up with the rest of this stuff. Are the pants famous at least? They straddle a well-known butt, maybe? Yeah, I don't believe so, no. Ah. Uh, the crate of used merkins. The hex of merkin. Crate full of dog hair. What? Pages and pages about colanders and their uses outside of the kitchen. The security guard's unpublished novels about a security guard who works at an auction house but is also a globe trotting treasure hunter and a man of action. That sounds good actually. Can I have one? You can go grab one. Boxes of pamphlets to places that don't exist. Bon oh, nope. Bon dog hair. A loom. It has some beautiful notes carved into it. You should take it. What? Take it. When are we going? Uh, when are we gonna get into a place like this again? Don't you want a souvenir? So on cold nights when you mend old socks. Hey, you can look at this and think I've seen how the other half lives. It's not the most inspiring call to commit a petty crime, but something tells me that this will come in useful later. So you get your wish. Yay! <laughs> At least until I find a use for it. Then I'm sending it back here. Wait, you're not yet you're not just dropping all that stuff on the ground after you use it? What? No, that's littering. I send it back to wherever it came comes from. That's as noble as it is lame. Thanks. Captain, I I don't know if I misheard you, but it's all like you said uh... What the hex or something? Oh, I heard you use hex instead of heck. Maybe I misspoke, but yeah. A stringless loom. It has holes for the string to pull, <clears throat> to plug into the, uh, that could be useful. A never emptying jug. Well, oh, why is this in the back room and not on sale? Well, by the smell of it, whatever uh, it never empties of is both useless and disgusting. <laughs> Nurgle would want that. A bust with eyes that follow you around the room. As if a bust with eyes wasn't weird enough. Great, re the great representation of a man creeping up behind an angel. <laughs> an angel creeping up behind a man. How did I mix those up? Or carrying his books for him. Read the Bible, detective. Angels were always sneaking up on people to give them books. <laughs> Paper records from their sale. 
nothing of use here. Somebody's trying to hog this stuff online. The ad says some really good stuff here. Don't get your don't out yourself as an uncultured swine by asking for details or haggling though. Oh, it's also backstagey. Is this what a rock concert is like? I can only presume so, yes. Wrong kind. Hmm. Okay, I thought we were going to do that to uh, get the man uh, the book, but no. May can we hawk this off? From no. Hmm. Oh, we don't have the mallet there. There we ain't. we used it up. Oh. Hmm. hmm. All right, they say we could get the book if we stand on it. Yeah, that's, that's probably the only place I can get my extra hands on page from the book. If I have something to replace them with, that's where we could do the switch. We don't... Hmm, we don't have that manifest anymore, so we can't switch that. So, no, I don't have to use to replace it with the Soviet book, since I suspect you need the Soviet book for the Soviet tech. I can't tell if this is an instruction manual or a communist manifesto. Same, same. Hmm. Yeah, we need that for the tech, probably. So I think the next step is that VHS. Yeah, wrong place. Hmm. Part of me thinks that we need that metal hoop sooner or later. I used to remember. Was that metal hoop mentioned in the last game? I'm not sure. Also, shouldn't that light mean that they're live? Does that mean that they're basically live with an empty room here? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll need another hint. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they made this game a little bit harder. Okay. Back a few hints. So, okay, yeah, this hint, these hints are a lot more wide than I was thinking. It's just that. Uh, you need to, well, go down s other tre certain trees with them, since certain words are links and such. Uh, let's see. Wires. Where to find. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stronger tech. Yeah. Strong tech. Old tech. Yes. Found the pier. Soviet tech. Mm-hmm. Okay. TV station, of course. Maybe someone else would take the... Okay. Okay, give it to the receptionist. Okay. Can you give this in... in yeah, yeah. Can you give this in tomorrow for me to get, in, get it on air? Sure thing. I'm just going to put it in the inbox. Maybe I'll ask it. AKA the trash. Did you just drop my tape in the bin? Oh, that's my filing system. If you look closely... <coughs> yeah. If you look closely... <clears throat> you see, I filled my broken heart... <clears throat> I filed my broken heart in there, too. After those kids chased the delivery woman away. <clears throat> okay, that doesn't work. Uh... <clears throat> oh, hello. That man, he, he feel no pass on your voodoo tape. Uh, but I will help you. Where is your handler gone? He was uh, no my uh, uh, not my handler. She was my date, but I have disposed of her. I've sent uh, some uh, witchy uh, home uh, home witchy cab there. I uh, I am the gentle squirrel, no. Why are you still here? Why do you want to help me? They humiliate me. They make me count like she performing monkey. I will steal back your your Joe and meet you in the control room. So apparently this crow is a fucking French spy. <laughs> Be my <lame> is just <laughs> a French revolutionary. <laughs> okay. 
What the heck? I was trying to figure out what the heck is he... Are they trying to aim for here? Jamaican? German? What? I mean, you sound confused what accent you are supposed to use. Yeah, knock knock. Come in. Okay. Is there no door that can keep you out? I haven't met a lock I can't inexplicably open with some old bird bones yet. I think we actually used those as lockpicks last time. Nice acorn collection. Thanks, I've been gathering them for a while now. They're my pride and joy. I keep them locked away in this very secure display case that will never open, save to add new acorns. What's all this? <clears throat> uh, I've been trying to write a TV script about a cop who solves spooky crimes, but the main character is just so boring. <laughs> the Queen really hates the devs by now, probably, with all these jabs, huh? <clears throat> yeah, dude, he's so boring, really. Yeah. <laughs> Impressive speakers. I guess you need them to edit all the footage? They're actually just fancy yogurt cartons with some strings. Sound is pretty good, though. One more frame for that perfect edit. Nah, I got too soon. Anyone trying to edit videos? Hint, hint. Yeah, and also... But you spoke about the speakers, it's a thing. <clears throat> I yes. kinda done it. Sound can travel through wires, that is how those uh, can, uh, cans with strings work. Yeah, here's the thing though. I had a head... Uh, uh, this was long, long, long ago. I had a headphones that snapped at some point. I think someone sat on them. But then I looked at a plastic box. Then the headphones, I thought, I wonder. So remove the frame, attach the headphones, muffs to the box from holes I uh, cut out. And yeah, I had basically improvised speakers. <clears throat> and it worked. Just don't expect anything too fancy from old speakers. Yeah. So, uh, how are things, Marp? Things are adequate, thanks for asking. We have a time to talk? Oh no, gotta edit down this morning's show. Station manager wants more fun scroll and less sad policemen. Sorry. Programming database. Just need to get an ad, the ad on there. He's got a tape. He's pointing at Marv. You actually don't need to distract him. Acorn. Yeah. What do you think of this acorn? How many skills are painted on it? Mm, 14? Not interested, so. Real Fabergé acorns only have 13. Thanks, though. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm going to remove the extra scales Pete drew on this. That was actually just a... <laughs> that was just a random guess. Does this look more real than before? I can't really tell. Hmm, 11, 12, 13? This is perfect. Where did you find it? I found it in an attic on a case. Uh, want it? Sure, I'll just unlock my cabinet to put it in right now. Ah, yeah, now is my time. The fuck? Where the fuck did the Where the fuck did the squirrel get a tear gas grenade from? What the? You oh, know, Marv, that squirrel. He robbed your acorn collection. I had no idea. We like detective. I recognized him the moment he turned up for filming today. What? You don't collect Faberge acorns and not know who Merle the squirrel is. He's a master squirrel burglar. As soon. As soon as I saw him this morning, I knew he was here for the cursed acorn I had just picked up. I had to act fast. I rang my brother-in-law, a shady guy named Pete. I know him. His kid came over with some friends, and while they caused the scene, I slipped her the acorn to get it off site. Damn it, Emily! They met up once she was safely away from here. Her dad made the acorn look fake and tried to sell it to the auction house, which I happened to know Merle was casing. So he'd know there was a fake on the scene. Precisely. Yep. <laughs> so when you showed up, he took all the fake locked away acorns and ignored the real one that I had. Bingo! By the time he realized what happened, 
and it'll be too late. I'll have gotten this thing away to safety. That, uh, I don't know if that makes sense or not. Uh, my bottom concern is, did we accidentally give him the actual real one? That we made it look like fake? Uh, uh, the way I see it, um, the way they smell, the one he, the quote unquote fake that he tried to uh, sell, that was actually the real one. They just made, they just made it look like a fake. So that, well, this little jackass here would steal all the other fakes while the, <laughs> while the real one would remain safe. Oh, so he still has it then? Uh, yeah, Merv has the real one now. After all that, he didn't even put the hand on air. I uh, can just put that on for you. You do that for me? We went to school together. Of course I would. Aw, oh, thanks. Also, it's public access. We kind of have to show any crap given to us. <laughs> You're sure you're really acorn collection is safe and sound? Oh yeah, I have them buried away in an offshore forest. <laughs> How the hell do these people come up with this? Sorry again about that, Marv. It's okay. The things we do for friendship, eh? I once power morphed into a giant robot to get it made out of a jam. <laughs> eh? Anyway, that will be an air on air for you soon. If this is just the first mission, I the other ones are going to be absolute madness. As I said, if each mission is going to take four hours, oh, that's going to probably go last longer this October. Maybe, yeah. Uh... Oh, there I am on the TV. Quickly, take this so I can watch myself. How does this work? What even is it? Where can I find the instructions? No idea, it's all tech. Almost old enough to be in a museum or the likes. No hush, I'm on TV. That's the hint that we can find it in the instructions in the auction site, but we already have those. Okay, so but I, have, let's see this thing on. I don't mind if this goes long, longer than Spooktober, for it's still a good game. Yeah. So I don't think they need to go together, I just have to bring them to the lady in the junkyard. I have something for you. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Yeah. yeah. What it used to me. Come up to the door and show me. You have the stuff you want. New technology and instructions on how to install it. Okay, okay, in you come. Yeah, that was just a typo. Here you go. Super, here are your wires, comrades. What did you call me? Constable? Hmm. <laughs> okay, we got the tangled wires. Uh, I. Th it's not really said out loud here, but... I'm pretty sure a lot of Soviet tech had a, a habit of failing. Even today it fa has a habit of failing, but mostly due to corruption. Uh, it, it still amuses me to no end that Russia sent, in, uh, sent tanks into Ukraine that had their armor replaced with fucking cardboard. Oh, for love of... Own as far as the eye can see it's through this window. Sadly, my cataracts means I can't see very far. <laughs> Hands off, certified breakers only. Hmm. And I'm getting an idea of how how fun perhaps a junkyard simulator could be. Like that you get junk that you need to sort out stuff and then break it and hmm. Could be interesting as basically simulators of every freaking thing to these days. You can find anything you need out there in the trash, you know, trashy wastelands. You just gotta be willing to get your hands dirty and your blood infected. Well, as someone who works the intake at a secondhand store, uh, you can find some pretty interesting, but also very uh, not safe stuff that can be given. Hell, last week someone brought in the shell of a Commodore 64, of all things. Not an entire intact one, just a freaking shell. But still, not something I expected. Wait, only the shell? What? Yeah. What? Okay, fine <laughs> if someone needs uh, to replace the old shell of the old Commodore 64, but still? Yeah. I fished it out of a whale's belly. How it got in there, I don't know. How I got how I got in there is also a mystery to me. <laughs> These have similar markings on the pages I need to replace. Mind if I take them? Why not? I have piles of that stuff. 
gremlin art? <laughs> okay. This freezer got off the back of a fridge truck, which was on the back of a freighter, which had sunk just off the west coast. <laughs> I built these out of discarded beds once I adopted the boys. Which boys? You I'm know the to get boys. tinkering with this new gear. Sorry for holding your wires. I'm just fed up with those little guys breaking my gear. How did they end up living with you? Okay, so... Yes, he was talking about the gremlins. I was crushing some stuff, as, as is my want. When I cracked open a clay urn, everything stopped and they cl out they climbed. They're harmless for the most part, useful to have in a junkyard, good for breaking stuff down. So I keep them around, all hunky-dory as long as I keep them from the machinery. Well, no more. Now they can wander freely, breaking whatever their little hearts desire. Okay, kind of heartwarming, but also, what were you thinking? At the... Hopefully she can repair her machine now. And they have nothing new to say. And yeah, if you want to put in the work, you can probably find a lot of stuff that can't still be repaired at junkyards. Yeah, I think I just realized that's what the damn thing means with pig bomb. I'm gonna pork? Or the <laughs> pork on the pizza? Uh, ham. Uh, also works, yeah. I was just about to ask if it... Yeah, outside of ham, I don't think there's really any other sort of pig meat that goes on pizza, usually. Bacon does go on pizza. How that? Yeah, as well. A mouth ball of wires. The ones we need are in here, somewhere. I just need a way to sort through them. Well, we do have something that we can sort things with. I think I might be able to use this loom to unravel these wires. Worst case, we can play a fancy tune. <laughs> Looms are a weaving tool, not an instrument. But that's a bobbin threadbare. Ooh. Oh. Minigame? We're just gonna move the wires between the three nodes to untangle them so they're unusable. Some parts of this adventure are less thrilling than others. Okay. I don't think we really had anything like this before. Uh, there to there. You, you. It's blocked by the wire on top. I need to unravel them in order. Uh, okay. Like that. That. Okay, simple enough. That's them unraveled. Now I know what to do next time my headphone wires get wrapped. <laughs> okay, I thought it might take a bit. Recently untangled switchboard wires. An exciting array of colors that I can't see. One of the reasons I went into the cold and not interior design. Wait, are you colorblind? They're not written yet, I need to age them up before I pass them off. Okay, how can we age those then? Hmm. At the very least, let's put these in. Where do these go? I always stick them in anywhere. You can move them in the minigame, I mean, later. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, I think I know where we need to go to age up those pages. Because old stuff tends to stink as well, don't it? The urn. Yep, or not. Hmm. What? Okay, how do we age that then? Semi-artistic scratchings from the gremlins. Similar style to the pages I need to replace, but too fresh and clean looking. What is good as most art found stuck on fridges? Uh, was that a hint? Oh, safer is left with the tongue now. A dirty fridge! Oh, come on! Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, th this just shows my inexperience with these kinds of games, huh? Well, we have played a few of them uh, over the years now, and we've done rather well on them. True. 
It's coming on. Hello. I am Mark from my IT shop. Mark's IT shop. I am Mark. Um, do you have an IT problem? Computer not working? Toaster more of a ghoster? <laughs> have your, has your photocopier kidnapped your family? I, Mark of Mark's B IT shop, can probably help to fix some of those things. So, co so come on down. First 50 people get a free minor electrocution. <laughs> Shock may not be minor. Mark may not fix your problem. Visiting Mark's shop may be a crime and gets you put on a list. What do you think? Good? Oh yeah, top stuff. I almost went to break something just so you can fix it. Please do. Business has not been good. Hmm. Guess the place isn't open or something? I'm gonna play like an accordion, that's a, still a good one, I'd say. Mm. Okay, I might need another hint for this. Because I have no clue how to age those things up. Uh, let's see, just hit back a bunch of times. Hmm. Kind of forgot about the ice cream. Devouring. Uh, phone book. Mm hmm. Wanted. Something similar, even a couple of pages. Look at the podium. Need similar. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's refresh looking, make the papers look older. Mm hmm. Yes. Some kind of brown liquid? Oh. Okay. Tea is brownish? If we dunk this in there, that should brown and curl the pages so they look nice and old. Replacement pages. Okay, I, I just don't have the memory to keep track of all those sorts of small things that might or might not be actually useful. Uh, let's be honest, Captain. I don't think many people were thought of tea. Okay, let's kick off this sloppy robbery. What? Nothing. Auction time. Welcome, innies and outies. Today we have this fine antique called Book of Sigils, or whatever you all think it is. Can I get an opening bid? What's a good opening bid? Five? Can I get five? Actually, swap the pages while I carry it on. On it. Yes, five. Five hundred. Five hundred? Five... Six. You can't go backwards. That's a... <laughs> no, six hundred. Christ. Okay, okay. Pull it together, me. Right, I have six hundred. I want seven hundred. Can I get seven hundred? Any bids of seven hundred? I... I or eight? I. And I'm done, detective. Sold. To the woman with the expressionless face. For I. But that's nonsense. That's not how this works. I'm not even sure how much I owe. You're not getting rowdy. Do I need to use my gun? Grumble, grumble. No it noises. I still don't know what I owe. <laughs> Whatever. Get it for free. It worked. Good job. Let's get out of here. What about all the other auctions you have to do today? Oh, uh, I quit. Bye. <laughs> A handful of pages with glyphs on them. Okay. That should be the last. So, in they go. I got these. Super, those symbols are like phone numbers. We'll have to work through them until we get through to your friends. One by one. That's everything. Time to try calling Dooley. Now what do I do? See those shapes? They're numbers, like phone numbers. So start dialing. What? That's it? What if he's not on the, one of the numbers I have? You're thinking too normal. Who bad one of them? How can you be so sure? I picked up the design document for this case, so trust me. Okay, here goes. It does make sense to have the psychic break the fourth wall, and yes, we need to... Uh, Mime the or mimic these. Oh, oh, they are certain lengths. 
Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to need... Hmm. Okay, now this is a bit more of a puzzle. There, there, there. Actually, no, we need... Yeah, we, yes, we need you near here. Not up there exactly. There, there, there. You go there. You go there. Move you there for the moment. So I'm not sure if it needs to... It looks like it goes over. So I'll probably need to... Yeah. Not sure if it would have worked if I had done those otherwise. So I'll give it this. Yeah, it goes over. Okay. The Darkman. Excuse me, is there a man in the police or office uniform there? Yeah, of course. An army man, biker, construction worker, cowboy, and a Native American man. <laughs> YMCA. Uh, what, what was the group actually called? I could completely forget. I don't think this is the right number. It's always the right number, Darklin. Okay. Uh, here. I'm back with a drink and... The, maybe a thing, the village people or something? Yeah, village people. That, that's what the band was called. Uh, I see. There. I think I recall the most of friends to a certain song, which I think I have on my MP3. It's still alive. Uh, there and there. In the Navy. Work. Yeah. What's all this then? Hello, Ghoulie. Steve Ghoulie? McQueen? What's, what, what is it that, uh, yeah, that as you're calling me uh, yeah, out of yours then? I think I have a lead on Dooley, a way to bring him back through. Whoa, 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 oh. Whatever you're up to, if it's not through legitimate channels, then you had bet get not bet yeah, you'd best not uh, get me involved. Right, well, I guess I'll let you know how it goes. Best of luck then, off you up. It's going to be the last one of these, isn't it? <clears throat> Let's see. There and there. Oh, I see now why it's getting demolished. This is the older version of telephones. Yep. But you had to call a operator. Let's see that about matches. Yep. Gelator? Who is this? Don't you know how hard it is for me to answer a phone? I might have the wrong number. Wrong number? That has me quivering with anger. <laughs> okay, that one can stay. There, there. There and there. Hello? Uh, hi, I'm wondering if you can tell me what the correct glyph to solve this puzzle is. No, I didn't spend minutes designing this puzzle just so you can hack the solution out of me. Now this game is launched, so leave me alone. One <laughs> of the puzzle designers. Wait, now that this game has lo- I think she used to have the answer on the demo or something then. Could be. Okay, move you up. There. If that's the case, bloody brilliant. Yeah. Okay. There. Wait. Nope, got that wrong. There, there, and there. Nobody seems to be picking up. Okay, did I get... Oh, yeah, I got that wrong. I need to do put the short ones there these here because they actually dangle okay there and there don't call that sigil hello oh, hello hello who's there hang up detective wrong number sorry all right uh, bye how did you know she did let's try the next sigil shall we Okay. Right, sir. 
Okay, short ones. Oh no, you see how while well, you you have a sheet of paper with um, 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 Yep. Um, I, I notice it, isn't know that it changed. That's what maybe a bit uh, confused at first. Well, wait, wait, what happened to uh, paper? There, 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 and there. It's going to be the last freaking one. Hello? Oh, you're, you're. Hello? Dooley! De Detective? Is that you? Yes, Dooley, it's me. Where are you? I hear music. I'm not sure. Everything is different here. It's a cold. Oh, Dooley. Ah, it's my own fault. I should have worn a jacket. Tell me what you see, Dooley, and we'll get you home. I can't see any water from here, so I guess I'm in lands a bit. Sorry, detective. Your curfew here is a, a little... ...essed up. Dooley? I can see a... And there's a... Me? Dooley, you're breaking up. And he... You... In for me soon! Okay. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Dooley? Dooley! He's gone, detective. Uh, I took down everything he said. Maybe we can use that to find him? Yeah, okay, yeah. I have a map of the city in my apartment that we can use. Let's go! I'm coming with. Now you want to come with? Well, yes, now it's getting interesting. Dooley's clues. Notes from the call with Dooley. Let's take him to my apartment and look him over. He's uh, actually going to see his apartment. It's kind of funny. Both times now where Dooley has come up, I've been wondering, why is he salient? It's how, how I, oh, right, I'm supposed to speak. Hmm. <laughs> well, this is it. Affordable towers. Hey, I warned you that the occult doesn't pay well. That's where the superintendent watches uh, from to make sure you don't have any guests over. I expect this entourage will bite me in the ass at least at least review time, but if it saves Dooley, it's worth it. I got a good feeling about this, detective. I'm feeling a strong energy from this place. It has special meaning for you. It's where I live. I feel as if you've been here before. Yes, because I live here. Perhaps in a past life? I wish my building came with a fire escape. I'm pretty sure those are required. My local laundrette. Uh, <clears throat> they take pride in poor service, which people seem to like, ironically. I lost the top here. Gave, me, gave them five scar <laughs> stars. Excellent bad service. This is the phone booth Dooley would call from when outside looking for a lift. Wait, hold on. She lost, she lost a top here. Yeah, but the bad service is on purpose. So they purposely gave her perfect bad service. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, let's get to work. Yeah. So what's the plan? Well, I found a ritual that can get him back. If I know where he is, we have the clues. We just have to figure it out and gather the ritual components. Okay, cool. Let's do this. A map of clues from across the city. Oh, I've never seen a real-life crazy person board before. <laughs> okay, detective. I'm ready to go. Let's change those clues. Candles. I'm going to need these for the ritual. Drink. Various things I managed to take from the Dark Side Division before the tech uh, did it before Chief Scully had it all sealed up. Is that a copy of Ripley's Casted or not? It is. It's where I found the ritual that will bring Dooley back. How does it work? Well, dark side portals are usually anchored. A portal from here will always go to the same place in the dark side. Usually, but not always. The here locations mirror if the here locations mirror there. But this ritual, it opens more of a vacuum than a portal. You point it to a place, give it a signature to lock onto, and it sucks them back. Great finds. Now let's figure out where he is and cast it. Yeah. 
It's going to work, Detective. Thanks. There's a sad energy to this place. <laughs> I have chalk in my pocket for the ritual. Good thing I checked. No cats. Now. Hey there, PD. Did not feed in time yet. PD? Like police department? That's the one. I sense you're lying. PD stands for placeholder Thule. <laughs> I told you I was psychic. Wow. <laughs> now you've made the cat sad. How did you manage to kill a fake plant? With effort? A bag of Dooley's old clothes that I grabbed from his gym locker. I'm gonna need these. Okay. What? Now let's see. Let's cross reference what Dooley said with my map and see if we can locate him. Oop, another minigame. This is all the info I have on the city. I just need to find some place that matches what I know about where Dooley was. We have three clues. If we cross-reference them with all this, we should find him. Yeah, slow and steady should do it. We'll scratch up everything he, uh, anywhere he isn't and see what's left. Easy. Take courtesy of traffic. Dooley was an outside phone. Somebody was playing music nearby. Dooley was somewhere inland. Campsite. Not as active a spot as it, yeah, as it is on the bright side. But it does have its fair share of uh, cult activity and people fleeing from serial killers. Turn that off. Retirement home. Shifty Acres. In our world, it's a retirement home. In the dark side, it's retired homes. A plane of houses that have had their mortgages paid off so they're free to roam these acres in their old age. <laughs> nope. Bells. Bashful Bells. We saw this in the intro cutscene. Baroness, banishment, barroom. <laughs> uh, a dress, a restaurant, which seems to be a place where you go to have people layer extra clothes on you. Wait. Baroness, not baroness. Or, did you say baroness or baroness? A barroom, baroness. There's, there's no O there, that's an A. Yeah, I was wondering, for, I'm not sure if you misspoke that earlier or not. Chinatown. The one place in the city with no Chinese citizens. Okay. Uh, uh oh. Tentacle? Pier 13. Turns out the city's main black market is located here, which apparently everyone know but me, including Dooley. It's in his schedule to look for gifts here. Okay. Music nearby. Granny Ghoulie. The Ghoulie family matriarch loves to dote on her family. Very busy so socialite, loves to talk. Star sign, you never ask a lady that. Making use, hobby making use of free travel pass. Occupation, busybody, can speak Latin, no. Fun fact, used to be in love with the knowledge vampire Count Factula. Wait, Star sign? What? I feel like that's the one that's usually people would gladly speak about. <laughs> uh, spider. Owner of Costume Shop, the number 17 place in Lone Lake for some of your costuming needs. Star sign Griffin, hobby, plays the invisible flutes, occupation, shopkeeper, can't speak Latin, <laughs> dislikes dressing up. The polypcuits, polytublets, an amalgamation of people sewn into one being. They identified as a, identify as a new age commune traveling the streets to spread the good word of oneism, absorbing fresh recruits as they find them. Star sign oneism, uh, loves playing twister with themselves, one person banned, can't speak Latin, 5% of all missing person cases are found in the polyptuates. Uh... Nuala, a little fiery haired redhead. Who I've met in my travels. Seems to be studying you know, studying academic dismantling in TLU with the hopes of being its last student. <laughs> Star sign Phoenix, plays the pyrophone, student, doesn't speak Latin, dislikes hats. <laughs> Dave the Tentacle. I, my old <laughs> I did mention Tentacle. My old pal, the pipes and vents dwelling Dave. Uh 
Star sign purple. Bobby caressing bums. Occupation tentacle. Can't speak Latin. Seems to be able to travel between worlds using plumbing. Occupation tentacle. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. The lullaby ladies, a gaggle of old ladies who move from place to place, waking up sleeping babies before they slip back into the shadows to find another resting toddler. Stars I various, hobby, waking babies, cackling at the parents and leaving. Occupation, retired, can't speak Latin. They won't let me cross bridge four, I have to go around. Right, so they are the ones to blame for whenever the baby wakes up in the middle of the night. Apparently. Bashful Bell, the proprietor of Baroness Banishment Barroom, a very private lady. I had to talk to her through a hole in the wall. Unresolved attachment styles, uh, vandalism of public amenities, forceful presser, doesn't speak Latin, collects tooth sculptures. I get the feeling we're going to need to do this more. Uh, to, we're going to need to do this uh, somewhat frequently to solve cases or something. Lancic Lee. <clears throat> the Dark Side's number one busker, a title he won in a gladiatorial matchup, apparently. Star Sign Calamari. I'll be eyeballing cats. I'll figure out their game someday. Occupation, street musician, doesn't speak Latin. Does any of these speak Latin? Fun fact, the guitar to the face slows most people down. Mm. No, really? Shocking! Let's see. Unduly scheduled, known portal here, location of previous case. Okay, that's not what these markings are. Hmm. Laundromats, washermen weep. My local laundromat in the bright side. Something always goes wrong with a wash, but my other uh, options are a journey away. Okay. Guess where? Dooley is at one of these locations. You have three clues that can be used to pinpoint the correct location. Only one location fits all three clues. Each card is made of two parts. Information contained in the card and a quick toggle to rule them out. If you move the cursor over the pin heads, you are shown a rotate icon. And then you quickly toggle on or off the card. The cards themselves have a magnifying glass which lets you examine the card and see any information that McQueen has gathered about the pl that place. Once you've narrowed down your search to one location, uh, you've toggled off all but one location card, the check location arrows enable, and uh, you can find out if you are correct or not. Good luck. Okay, so all of these outside or near water we can turn off. Don's Mansion. All the unburned mansion belongs to Alcorp Zone. The soul of which is now running around loose in the dark side in the body of his bright side counterpart, currently unoccupied. Do you at least hear that? I heard the girl something, I thought said Rome's mansion. Switchboard is not being destroyed in the dark side. Instead, they gave it a seat in the city council. I would have expected it to be useless, but it turns out to be well, very well connected. <laughs> It's a little switchboard, so of course it's connected. <clears throat> uh, Lone Lake Mall. The Dark Side's Mega Mall is full of abandoned shops that punters come to leave their fanciest things in. Houses the graveyard, the House of the Dead. Also seems to be the number one dating spot in Twin Lake's Dark Side counterpart. Uh, oh, on. Chief Ghoulie's household? Lives here in the Dark Side Patricia, her husband. And Buzz visits, as does uh, Granny uh, Ghoulie. His occasion doesn't match the clues. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense with this one because there's no traffic. Hmm, but music. We're actually. Hmm. Wait, is, is he freaking here? That matches. I think we found him. He's outside this building. He's been, he's been waiting outside for me to find him. Well, you found him. Now let's get him back. Yeah. To the roof. <laughs> okay, I had a feeling that the musician was going was to play a part in that, finding him. <laughs> this will do. We can perform the ritual here. Noisy pigeon. Cuckoo, out of pigeon noises. 
Even I didn't foresee this happening. This is exciting. My first real seance. Mine too. Raised block. I just need to mark some glyphs here, light some candles, and place down something of his. Okay. Draw this here. That goes there. Et voila. Just place these here. I have a lighter. Great. We put the bag here. That's everything. Now to see what happens. The wind is picking up. There's a lot of psychic energy, and I'm not even making that up this time. I think it's working. It worked. Does anyone have something to eat? I'm starving. It definitely worked. What was it like? Nobody has ever spent that long over there before. It was fine. How to get around. Terrible public transport. Train or, or, like, no. Trains are always on time, so I kept missing them. Wait, what? I'm just glad to be home. Thanks, Detective. I knew you did find a way. Thanks. Sorry it took so long. Detective? Yeah? What's a prawn folder? Get away from there, Emily. Meanwhile... Oh. You answered the call. Completed case one missing presumed dark side. Okay, that was good. Long, but good. Yeah. And, yeah, we don't know. It will get... It will get harder. <clears throat> I'm fine with. I am... I honestly think the next few might be shorter, and then it goes long in the last one again. I think that's what, about what happened in the, well, in the first one. The first one was short as well, but I'm guessing slash hoping that they don't all take this long. Hmm. With Dooley back, we're off to visit this nanny over in Shifty Acres. Of course, Twilight Tears, of course. If there's freaking vampires here... Of course, it's going to be freaking vampires. Hmm. What a day. Yeah, would have had to welcome back for the, uh, the station was for what? <coughs> Can I try that again? Yep, let me drink something first. Uh, yeah, would have had to welcome party back for the, uh, the, wait. I messed that, so... Alright. Yeah, whoever that welcome back for the at the station was for must be gutted to have been pulled out of retirement. It was probably for Dooley. Dooley, that was a welcome back party for you. Or me? Then why did we leave? You wanted to see your nan? Ah, oh, I'm such a dark. Anyway, let's go see Nanny. <laughs> Stay off the grass. Another drug's true. <laughs> Will likes number seven retirement home. What? I'm sorry they didn't reinstate the division detective. Hey, it's okay. Solving normal crimes is important too. At least they paid to get the po <laughs> the Popo Modo repaired. <laughs> All uh, right, yeah, because it technically wasn't a police car <laughs> since he was uh, fired, or at least I, I'm guessing they rehired him now as well. So it, the Popo Moto became the Moto. She's looking as good as ever. Better than ever, like brand new. Never even they had to fight with the mechanic, spot. she did, but she the best car on the force now. Don't you listen to him, Motto. You're a looking sick. Wait, what? Don't listen to him, Motto. You're looking sick. 
He'll come around. <laughs> yeah, sorry, people. Sometimes I mess up, but other times I just have to stop and read so what the heck I'm reading. Yeah. This place is eerily quiet. A stack of tabloids for keeping the residents up to speed on local happenings. Rolling bones for local pop culture adepts. Classic rocks for any budding geologists and enemy for keeping track of your foes. Oh, they also have coupons for businesses in the area. One place is selling second-hand potatoes, another is offering to wash all your books for half price, and a third touch hauntings. Free ghosts for the angst of one. <laughs> I love this city. There's a lot of interesting coupons here. I should make a note to cut them out before I leave. <laughs> um... Good to see health and safety standards are being met. Let's see. Why would I pay for a phone when there's already one right here? Old people are for life, not just for Christmas. Mm. Okay, let's go here first. Nurse's station. No, those are her room, detective. What's that noise? It looks to be a supply closet. Not of interest to us. Nice to see a little green around the place. I'd love to visit an old castle like that someday. Me too! We should book a holiday! Are you not a little wary of holidays nowadays? What? What would I be? <laughs> That's the spirit, buddy. Maybe I should do another voice as... <laughs> Hmm. We're here! Nanny's room. Need a drink? <laughs> also, I was shooting on something. Nana? It's me, Patrick! And I have the What? Okay, let me try that again. Typical Dudley thing just stunned me here. Anna, it's me, Patrick. And I have the Detect Francis with me. Sorry, boys. It's all a bit manic out there. I'm not opening the door until everyone calms down. Annie Dooley? It's me, Francis. What do you mean that it's manic out here? Oh, all sorts. People swinging from the ceiling, large parties, carjackers. Name it, it's happening. It seems pretty calm to... Yeah. Oh. Nanny! We... Yeah, we probably should. Okay, Nanny, you leave it to us. We'll find them the tie in its theories. We're out of the line. <laughs> Duly, we're not retiring anybody. Fight for yourself. I may need to use another voice. But we will look around the place. Put out that chair. Uh, see what else is happening. Yeah, uh, you know what, people? I think I may speak his voice a little bit more normal than trying to use a very bad accent of mine. Says, bloody heck. I'm, I think I'm getting sick, and his voice has not been kind to my throat. <clears throat> Let's not disturb anyone who uh, we don't have to. Okay. These little touches really make the place feel cozy. They must have a caretaker or such about the place. Self-portrait of the artist, Ace Boat. What? Hmm. Somebody has built a wall and put a note on it which says, No boys allowed. That's... that's you out, so... Dooley. Is he guy again? Okay, I think it's time we bought, brought you in for questioning. <laughs> Teddy bear. Looks like someone mixed their whites and colors and it came out all dyed. An off brand bulk buy powder. The slogan is because it's not your clothes you're washing. An old washing machine. A bit forgetting to ask Dooley stuff. So, we're a few cases in. Yeah. I just think it's time for me to talk. I just think it's time we talked 
about it. About your new cat. Oh, placeholder. Oh, say it. Placeholder, Dooley. Look, I'm used to thinking out loud, and normally you're there even when you're not entirely paying attention. And you were missing. Thinking to myself was too slow, and talking it out to nobody felt. Well, I think people at work were thinking I was losing my mind. Uh, they pretty sure they think they already lost it long ago. So I got a cat. And you named it after me. Her, I named her after you. Don't make a thing out of it. You missed me. You missed me. Truly, I spent a year searching for you. Of course I missed you. It's not as much fun when you just outright admit it. I still go back to the exit, but I'm trying to be, be careful with uh, how deep I go with it. Can we use some old boxer to Billy Fort back at HQ? We can't do it. Actually, I say we could get away with it, yes. Oh, can't believe I could have wait to see her. Excited to see you, Nan? Sure am. She always fills my little belly hole with treats, and she asked me to pick, to pick this gift for her. Wait, no. Ah, uh, she always fills my little belly hole with treats, and she asked me to pick this gift for for me. Ah, uh, what? Oh, I thought you got that for her. Mayo is the best gift she can receive. Yeah, well, in a way, it is true. Uh, hello. What the heck? But, yeah, a lot of grandparents are just happy to see uh, their grandchildren happy, but do repay them in some ways. Yeah, though sometimes it can be tricky when they obviously don't want to be repaid. Oh, somebody put a chair out already. Super. Okay, so maybe things aren't normal around here. Is it safe to come out yet? Sort of, maybe. That's uh, not a very reassuring, you know. We're police. Is that more reassuring? Yes. Wait, are you real police or that comedy division Patrick McDooley is in? We're a real department. Not according to him. Ever. Ask her about that burning wheelchair, eh? Dooley. What's going on around here? The residents are full of energy today. It's proving hard to track and calm them all down. Track them down? Yeah, they have free reign. This isn't a prison camp, Patrick. We don't have location monitors on the patients. Not anymore. Where did that burning wheelchair come from? I think some of the residents were trying to get some chairs up onto the roof. Maybe it's linked to that? That doesn't explain why it was on fire. Honestly, once things kicked off, I lay down here to wait for help. Or death, whichever comes first. If you need to be, I'll be hiding down here. Uh, Did I strap that? rockets to it? Oh, perfect. That smoldering shell is just what this place needed. It does feel less like a retirement home now, that's for sure. Okay, I, think I think we I may think have I missed used... a bit of dialogue there. Yeah, we just got the right tone for his voice now. Okay, we need to sing it up on this. One, what? two, no, no. We both want to say this at the same yeah. time. Okay, one, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Close enough. The car. Hey, I have, I have a song within the, I mean, yeah, the car. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that, uh, I didn't know that Modo had hydraulics. <laughs> Cheerleader. Woo, drive it like you stole it. You did stole it, you did steal it. I can tell by how they're driving it. Why did you have this banner ready to go? In a place like this, you have a lot of free time. I've got banners for all sorts of going on. Can I have it? No, I needed to cheer them on. But I was trying to have, you know, Olay, Olay with the car. <laughs> Stop it at this instant. This is a crime. What are you going to do about it, no wheels? I'm a bit stoned over that. 
we should call some bo- Ah oh, crap, we all dip somebody, aren't we? Okay. I did not expect to just find them. <laughs> for one, I did not expect the, ca the car to have hydraulics. For a second, I did not expect them to be joy jumping them. Okay, can you hear noise from coming inside? Hello? I'm not coming out. Okay, can I ask... What, who's there? I'm detect... I said I'm not coming out. Okay, but... I can can't hear you. I'm giving up on this. Good. Wait, if you could... Can't hear, go away. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, ominous glow glowing closet. It's locked from the inside. You can see the key in the keyhole. How odd. Okay, time for an old trick then. There's no sound from inside, let's leave them be. Nanny's room, it's locked. You can't come in that way either, I'm Wily. That's, that you are, Nana. No need to disturb everyone. Let's see, flower beds, a nicely tended garden. Lightning rod cable. It runs up you know, to the roof of the building. A bandstand. What a nice thing to have here. They used it for throwing parties and the likes. Usually pretty good fun. The senior knows how to do party. What the heck? The axe is going all over the place now. Yeah. A wood saw from when you would saw something. Ha! I see what you did there. I mean, I saw what you... Ah, uh, no mind, I fluffed it up. I fluffed it. I've never met a case that didn't benefit from my having a hammer. <laughs> Guess it's hammer time. <laughs> you also read? Okay. <clears throat> this is this is from Ned Shop. I recognize his house anywhere. They really keep this place alive with plans. It's labor of love, for sure. But do we get the feeling we're going to meet the groundskeeper and he absolutely hates it? Better a garden rake than a greenhouse... philanderer? What? Philanderer? <laughs> oh, philanderer, right. Better water can than a watering cannot. What? I'm just saying I like it so... I just see I like it a beat attitude. Ah, oh, that Russ reminds me of the push mover we had when I was a kid. Oh, those things were a horrible thing to use. The Russ came from my pushing it into a lake. I hated moving the grass. <laughs> Still do. I feel like every time we uncover a spooky mystery, we also find a small room full of unforeseeable useful items. No, I'm not saying those rooms are to blame for the strange stuff, but the correlation does equal causation. That's just science. No, it's not. Sometimes I like to climb on top of this bandstand and pretend I scale Everest. Why do you automatically... I think I should probably talk normal now, but I read him says it's painful for my throat, and it's... Be honest with me, kill. I'm almost going to kill. Is the accent horrible? Yeah, but funnily so. But yeah, you can just talk normally if you prefer. Yeah, the more for the sake of my throat, it's not to itch from doing all that. Yet, my, I automatically do that voice when I try <laughs> to speak as him. Uh. How are you never cold? You never wear a jacket. Temperature is a classic government ploy aimed to keep our mind out, mind on what jackets to wear and of how to overthrow the establishment. What? what? Few jackets, more revolts. Let's see. Can we go? No, we can't go any further there. Again, I like. Doodly as a character, but so, but as you can hear many times, when I read your school, in the middle of the your school, what the heck am I reading? Yeah. Do you reckon it's poison ivy? It's 
us are more extreme adventures that get catalogued here, isn't it? People are gonna think we don't hang out outside of troublesome cases. <laughs> we have a life outside of this, you know? We have movie nights, double days, and trips to the zoo where nothing weird happens. But they don't air our Monday Young Avengers. Oh no, two shows going to a non haunted Mowgli alley doesn't get the ratings, apparently. He's talking about as if it's a freaking TV show. <laughs> I'm equally unable to hear you from this side. Didn't even knock. I heard you getting near. Which is, which is, you can't hear me or you can. I have selective hearing. Also, what? I didn't hear your question. <laughs> I like this guy. What a cute fountain. It'd be cuter if it didn't have trash burning in it. You know what they say, one man's trash is another man's, eh... Uh, what? A uh, queen? I don't know what an a uh, queen is, but some men love them, apparently. Treasure what? dooley. There you are now, there's a mad queen on fire in that fountain. It's too hot to touch, I need something long to drag it out with. Yeah, you see, uh, yeah, I think people can see many times uh, how I just end up stopping in a... Uh, I, I mean, it, it, giving him people. Many times I stop uh, reading and sending all that, is I actually get a what the fuck face. Yeah. I think this window is broken. It's clearly night time outside. Really? Red, oh. Ah, why is it so loud in here? Bro, it is good, isn't it? But every song I made myself. Pastor Fairly. I said loud, not good. You love this set? Me too, my man, me too. But that's not what I said at all. You're right, it is Christian dance. You've got a good ear, much like my co-writer, God. I've heard of Christian rock, but not Christian dance. Well, they say God is a DJ after all. Mm, couldn't turn it down, could you? Of course I couldn't turn it down. DJing this sudden and unexpected party was too much yeah, too good an opportunity to play some tune for my new album, I Irreverent. <laughs> Where do I get the feeling he just walked by and just stumbled into all this bullshit? I don't care what music it is, I'm deaf. I just like the vibrations in my footsies. <laughs> it keeps my inside loose, if you know what I mean. Sadly I do. My bowels, it keeps my bowels loose. Yeah, I figured that's what you meant. We're doing... Enough! <laughs> Chandelier grand. I always wanted to try swinging when my husband was alive. Not that kind of swinging, I think. <laughs> Why are these speakers so big? It seems like overkill for such a small room. Bro, don't be so ableist. Some of these people are hard of hearing. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, drink. <laughs> oh, then I will prepare myself. Bonking kept up a good measure. Come on. Uh, that's an impressive rig. My underground scene would love to have kits, a kit like this. What? If you ever want to try your hand at some illegal uh, underground DAing, you could you just let me know. The only law I don't want to break is biblical law. Count me in. <laughs> super soaker, you still have your super soaker with you, Br mm. brother Broseph. After what I saw last year, I don't travel without it. Would you ever part with it and be left alone with all these nearly dead people? What would I do if they all, uh, what's a bodacious way to put it, convert it to the Church of Zed and turn it to mush heads, bro? No, I'd only have a part with my god cannon if I had a suitable divine replacement. <laughs> Maybe Bodace? the uh, crucifix on the fountain? Wait, bodacious? Did they even use that word right? Or are you, oh, people you keep using that word wrong to begin with? Which would be funner. But, but from what I know, bodacious means is, well, curvy, as far as I know, unless I've been and lied to. That's the wrong, yeah, that's the wrong meaning. It's most, it, it, 
to my knowledge it's mostly just another uh exaggerative words or word that basically means groovy cool etc etc okay there me means i heard that the word used as a pun <laughs> The disco lights, they seem screwed into place. Alright, bro. Pastor, I haven't seen you since you flew up the tower. Bro, you would not believe. I forgot to install air brakes in the hang glider, so I flew way over my house. I ended up on the far coast. I figured it, it must have been the Big G's will, so I decided to do some missionary work. Missionary work? Here in America? It's what the Lord wanted. Maybe it was easy work, at least. And it paid for my bus hang glider ticket back home. So, praise the Lord. How did you end up at, the, at this retirement home? What do you mean? This is where the hang glider drop-off point is. I landed here, saw people where uh, were partying, and I... Wait, you've been in the air for, an a for a year? <laughs> okay. Saw people were partying and came you know, to throw my hands up, in, uh, up to the air. Because up in the air is where Jesus lived. Or, wait, does he basically just get a tick bus ticket for a bus, get on top of it and jump off with his hang glider? What's going on around here? Dude, bro, everyone here is off the hook, both in terms of their mannerisms and also in terms of them having no responsibilities. But they were all too old to know how to work the gramophone, so I offered to help. And hallelujah that I did, because I've never had an audience so happy with my Christian dance tracks. Will you turn off the music, please? Bro, Seth, look at how hard these people are dancing to my Christian tunes. I can't turn it off now. I couldn't leave unless it was an emergency. Everyone is acting oddly. There are fires all over the place. The residents are putting themselves in harm's way. Those are emergencies. Those are police emergency. I mean, a spiritual emergency, like a crisis of fate or a possession. Uh, okay. I'm sure we can sort out a crisis. Possession. Possession. It has to be that one. Dooley, we can literally throw in a crisis of fate. Take possession. We can have him out of here in five minutes tops. Faked possession. Think of how much longer this will mean before you get to see your nan. Nana loves a fake possession. <sighs> Fine. Yay! Bro, talk soon, bro. The DJ's desk is in the way. Can I get you to budget a little pastor? No can do me, amigo. I'm halfway through a set. I can't just pull out enough before finishing. Add in another innuendo. Also. Earlier. Sad daisies are my favorite kind of flower. What? Dining room. Intruders! Bugger that for a game of darts. I'm not letting them stop our fun. Agreed. Right, it's time to disarm you two. No way. Get him. Ah, fine, I'll leave them. Good, I'm going nowhere until I'm dripping wet. Uh. I was about to say you can stop now. I thought I was going to continue throwing back water balloons at him. Yeah, they, they really have weak uh, arm throws. Today's menu just reads anarchy. And I'm having seconds. Oh, fine. <laughs> At least they had the sense to move this away before they started the water fight. Not so. I was skateboarding on it earlier and crashed it over there. <laughs> What's going on here? A water fight, obviously. Are you safe up there? The slippery chair and my vertigo say no, but my heart says why not. Let's turn that fan off. Okay, that's going to be part of some puzzle with these two. Put down that balloon. Make me copper. Don't make me come back there and disarm you. Detective, even I know we can't go around tearing off people's arms. Wrong kind of disarm. Okay, okay, kitchen. These things kill more harmless insects than harmful ones. They're banned from all blood wolf campsites. 
also we can't afford them. But you bend mm -hmm. them, you can't afford them. Molts, just add liquid, doesn't even need to be water. A distraction jar. If someone is interfering in the you know, kitchen asking to open this, does not open, guaranteed. The first one is prunes, while the second one is prune juice. An assortment of kitchenware. Kitchenware? Like stuff you did wear in the kitchen? No, Dooley, this stuff isn't even the right shape for wearing. So why is it called kitchen bread? I'm not that bad guy here, detective! Definitely yeah, that, just taking them. That's me holding back from being loud since he... Yeah, I, I can't... I suppose it's a bad idea if I start shouting in the mic. Yeah. Also, it's it is a turned away from me. There you go. It is a time blocked on it. No. Yo, fair. All the people also me needs the freedom to eat whenever we want. Industrial strength blender. There's nothing this can turn into soup. I don't understand every. I don't understand. Everything here is so clean. Where's the lay of cigarette ash? I feel like Agnes really needs to uh, be let go. Or at least be sent like horse or something. And that's the. <clears throat> that's the kitchen lady from the Blood Wolves. That's why I recognize the name. I like tractors. I like tractors, but like this fan, I've gone off the them re recently. If that's a joke, I'm not getting it. Uh, it I got the. It's an extractor. He thought it was called a tractor, but it's called extractor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, need a drink again. <clears throat> Why do you look at me every other time I take a sip? <laughs> Alright. This place is so much... This place is so much better keep... Keep it out than Blood Wolves HQ. I can't wait until the kids retire and we can turn this... Into the new base. Not how that okay. works, Dooley. Okay, I think I... I think I got his voice a little bit now from Will Mercy for my throat. Yes, there's three by three potatoes, two by two carrots, and four by four turnips. Seems this press is full of squared <laughs> root vegetables. <laughs> squared roots. <laughs> That's a good one. It's just applying for the sink. Detective, don't stare at it like that. Different kind of plumbing, Dooley. It's full of weird kitchen gadgets, from egg confusers to onion interrogators. A series of dust gathering specialist cookers. It's empty. I guess the janitor has done their cleaning run for the night. It's a reminder to buy milk, garlic, and more garlic. Also. A man just. Oh, a man! Oh, wait! Of the, a man just our luck to arrive after the cook has, has clocked off for the night. I messed up the first sentence. Hmm. All the bins are locked. That's to stop Nanny Dooley from dumpster diving. A moment. What? She has a real noose for a fight. Oh, Lord. I need to find a key to check these. Locked. It's locked. Some medical stickers. Must be getting binned as they expire today. Okay. Ladder. Uh, there they are. Uh, really? What's up? You're in the way. What? Your way? What's going on up here? For Jouston, is that not clear? You should maybe get your eyes checked. Hey, it's that's glass assist. What are you gonna do about it, nerd? I'm going to smash you with this broom, that's what. Bring it on! Hold up. What are you doing joust and why are, but why are you jousting? On the roof of all places. Because he's a bounder. No way, you're the baddie bad bats yeah, baddie bad boots here. Oh dear, this has gotten very out of hand. 
what's going on here? Oh, I got a letter and some flowers in the post. And, well, I spilled some tea on it and couldn't fully read the name. It was to Toby. Toby. Toby with an I. It was Toby with a Y. Who spells Toby with an I? I do. I do. That's my name. It's a stupid name. I don't know what to do. This has gotten very out of hand. Why don't you just leave then? Well, I like the thrill of two men fighting over me. I just wish I had some protection. What are we all staring at? I meant safety gear. <laughs> uh, I'm in pain. They say lightning never strikes twice. Well, tell this building that. Poor thing is hit at least once a storm. I can feel it shaking in fear on stormy nights. This flowers came from me, not him. Why, I grew them myself in the garden. Guys, please don't do this. For one, I'm right in the middle, and this seems very dangerous. And silly. <laughs> I wrote you that letter, I promise. Don't listen to Toby. He's a liar. Why, he's even uh, lying about how to spell the name Toby. I... Go uh, uh, showing. My mon, my mon is on the guy on the right. He has a wide look in his eyes. Our right or his right? <laughs> Collection of brooms. One of these might come in handy. You, you don't expect us to. Cl uh, you, you don't expect us to help tidy this wool mess up, right? Right. Right. Uh, also, and hello. In, I, uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, I would say someone in chat. <laughs> hello in chat, Chris from Red, uh, Resident Evil. How are you doing today? <laughs> welcome to the Dark Side Detective. A fumble in the dark. <laughs> hello and welcome. Let's see. Nice dream. Thanks. And just a bunch of emojis. <laughs> Okay, we've got some tools. Uh, now we just need to find what the hell to do with any of them. Let's see. Maybe this little critter can help with the position. The claw hammer for putting nail uh, in nails, uh, realizing they're crooked and taking them back out. <laughs> Collection of beaten up pots and pans, they even got holes in them. You can tell they had, uh, they had taken quite a beating before finally giving in. Ma uh, they'd make great armor. I think I know where we need to use that. Hmm. There, no, no, I, <laughs> I would put my hip out doing that. But I forget how that works. Uh, her? Could you wear these as armor? Could you? They're, they're pots. Do I look like a boiled ham to you? Fair point. They're not exactly human shaped. I'll see what I can do. We need to go, we need to go make armor out of those. Soon to expire medical stickers and a broom, metal handle. Wait, are we to be the a third knight or something? Hmm. There's something going on in one of these here. Some of these lines are red, others are not. Know the difference. Love thinning bandages? You got me. They're useless. Worse than, uh, worse than, entirely counterproductive. But they were an offer, and I just can't pass up a good deal. Me. Milly. Pills to help you pee, to stop you from peeing, to get uh, balls working, not working, and retiring it entirely. Okay, placebos and an assortment of candy. I've not seen one of these in a while. Actually, I couldn't ask I couldn't ask you uh, for a favor, could I? My batteries are running low, and the damn thing runs so slow it sounds haunted. Take it and get it charged, would you? Wait, which is it? Does it need batteries or charging? No idea. I always got one of the uh, detectives who is investigating the place to fix it for me. There are many other detectives around here? Oh, loads. Old people are shady. The older you get, the less life in prison puts you off. <laughs> she does have a point. Hair in the top. Gross. What's even grosser is that you can, and I do, apply it anywhere. Okay. 
Today, not even going to ask. Uppers, downers, lefters, and riders. Pain meds. There's stuff here for decreasing pain, increasing pain, and making pain out of nothing. Those last ones are for anyone who crosses me. <laughs> yeah, that's just my rep. <coughs> Pardon? That's just my rampy clean. You know, to keep me wrecked. No thanks. Forget me nots and remember me nots. Do not fear the listening snake. Hear, let it hear your innermost secrets. Stupid information campaign. I'm not letting a listening snake anywhere near me. 1,000 tiny towels. Perfect for sewing into one uh, normal sized towel. And a fraction of the price. Or 1,000 fractions of the price. So it just comes up to the same price. A year's supplier of microwavable hair clips. They were on sale. Buy one, get the rest for free because we can shift these things. An industrial vat of denture gum? Hmm, maybe enough industrial you know, denture gum could stop our car in its tracks. Can I take this outside? What? No! What would I use to stick you know, teeth uh, into and sometimes onto the residents? Surely you don't need it at all? You don't know how many teeth I have st uh, to stick into and onto residents. Why would you stick teeth onto people? For nurse reasons. You've not dropped out of medical school, so you clearly wouldn't understand. <laughs> okay. Batteries are low. Sounds... It sounds spooky, but it's... It's not spooky when it's dying like that. Okay, do we just shove that in there? Yes, we just put this in here and zip it back up. Now those uh, warped dictaphone sounds are coming from the bear. Possessed bear. Possessed teddy. Uh, look at the teddy. Oh, you scared me. I thought you were a resident looking for... Well, anything, really. What's going on with the patients out there? I don't know. They seem on form today, though. I thought maybe they got the smell of blood, and by blood I mean pharmaceuticals, but all my stock is accounted for. So, nursing, eh? Yeah, uh, right. So you gotta follow your uh, passion in life, and mine is spending coupons. Did you know you can skip TLU classes with enough coupons? I only had to turn up once with enough coupon booklets, and now I work here. That doesn't sound safe. Fully qualified! A lot of stuff you have lying around here. Not stuff, bargains. I save this place literally dollars a year. A dollar saved is a dollar that must uh, swear an oath to protect your life lest it bring shame on his family. <laughs> what? Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Kurosawa lately. Point being, I can't resist a good deal, me. Oh, at five? Ill? Yes. Be honest. Is Millie a relative of yours? No. It's locked. There's a do not disturb sign and some snoring from inside. Let's check back later. Okay, so that, that's what those noises were. Okay, now... Let's see. Where was the DJ party going on? Yeah, red room. Now, if I'm showing this, might, that might ruin my con. I need to really sell it, and that involves keeping this guy hidden. Oh. Okay, so we need to stuff him. Oh, it's very clearly stick. He sounds perfect. I just gotta find somewhere to put him that would sell the effect. I used to realize why I felt like it, Millie could have been related to Hillian. Mm. One of my older nicknames for Hillian was Hilly. <laughs> I have forgotten about it until now. Hmm. Let's see. And this... Okay, so we gotta stick Teddy somewhere. Hmm. No. Never mind. Very much doubt that there either. Uh, with all this smoke, I feel nobody would even see the damned bear. I'm not a fan of that. Maybe there's a better place that people hang out around here. Or do we need to stick it into one of the speakers or something? It's him. That's not how it worked back in my day. 
Hmm. Yeah, I didn't mean this kid, Jeremy, that everyone eats in, not cooking. Hmm. We can't put him in the, any of the bins either. And that's a dining room. Yeah, dining room, yeah. What is with this fan that we want to turn it on and off? Oh. You just put it up there, it'll fly off once I turn the thing on. I have to find a way to secure it. There's medical stickers. Hmm. You mean duct tape? Let's see, is, is there anything in that shed that I missed? Oh, wait. Could that... Hmm. Okay, some sort of glue or tape? Hmm. Hmm. I've been wondering what I'm eating. Popcorn. We can try this, at least. Let's get this mannequin out of there before the fire gets worse. This thing is dangerously hot from the t its time in the fiery fountain. You could bend metal or cook an egg on it. We should get some eggs and test that theory. <laughs> hmm. Oh, actually, let's put these here. Well, you sure covered that in pots and pans. I just need a way to reshape them. Hammer! Alright, let's make some armor. That was just a bad smithing sound. Wrong target. I was aiming for the pans. <laughs> sure you were. Uh, officer is an... Oh, wait. Officer is an old blacksmithing name. What? No, it's not. And it's not even a name, it's your job. My goodness, I was worried you were going to ask me to do some blacksmithing. That would not be uh, bad. That would be armsmithing. Extremely amateur armsmithing. Uh, so that, that actually reminds me of a, a very stupid idea I had for a joke. Uh, which would probably border on outright racist be in a joke where you, where there's just a village and well there's a there's a smith uh, I, I think you can guess it from there I'm pretty sure you can see why it's a very stupid and bad idea <laughs> yeah that armor is vaguely human shaped. I might be uh, thankful for the protection given uh, all, all, all that's happening around here. Where's Dooley's armor, eh? Where's his protection? Oh, eh? This is for somebody else. I kid, I wouldn't be seen dead wearing cookware around this place. I have my creed with the residents to think about. <laughs> Was it cred or creed? Oh, wait, cred. cred. That was my bad. <laughs> uh, and, but yeah, stupid ideas like that is one of the many reasons why I'm not a game designer or anything like that. What does make you feel safer? I, I was like, I think I, I've, I've heard someone do that juke in the past. Would not be surprising. It, it's very it's it's so low hanging fruit that it's it buried on the ground yeah sometimes it, it was, it's kind of a accidental uh, that someone made it you due to the character was of that skin color and yeah yeah <laughs> bad times not quite the protection i was looking for but i guess this makes more sense yes thanks at least now i'll be safe while they fight over who sent who sent me both parcels wait you got two parcels 
Yes, a love letter and also roses. But I only sent roses. I only sent a letter. I think I'm starting to see what's going on here. So you both sent me something? I think we might have misread this whole situation. Me too. So, you don't want us fighting for your affection? Not physically, no. Would you rather come for some tea with us instead? That does sound a lot less dangerous, yes. Also, let's get down then. How does one get a wheelchair down from here? Right, how about uh, we getting on with things around here? The old carjacker still needs to be taken care of. Taken care of? Like, click click taken care of, cause I'm in my... No, Dooley. Sorry, you caught across me there. I said I'm go... I said I'm ha... Don't say it, Dooley. For some reason, you won't let me say that I'm always happy to be to Dooley. In a person for walking these Udis miss... In a person for walk... For walk these Udis miss company and outside, you know... Wait, that's what you thought I meant? What was the click click for? Sound the sound the wheelchair mix on the uneven sidewalk pavement of Twin Lakes. <laughs> we still need to shut down that rain. <coughs> Those old people shouldn't be having a water fight indoors. I guess. I mean, they're having fun, but it's pretty harmless. Then it's pretty harmless. I guess the designers just hate fun. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you played the game, right? Wait, you haven't? It's in my library. I'll get to it. <laughs> Is it good? Three out of five, I'd say. You haven't played it either, have you? Uh, what? Uh, what were you saying about stopping a water fight? Hmm. What the heck? Uh. Oh, garbage back. Seems to be random trash from the home. Surprise, nope. <laughs> hello, Jess, and thank you for the raid. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, everyone who came along. Uh, well, we was here, anyways. Uh, I'm Captain Ahillian. Uh, over here, we have my uh, co host, Drakir. <laughs> hello. And yeah, welcome to the Dark Side Detective, a Fumble in the Dark. The sequel to, well, The Dark Side Detective. <laughs> okay, let me give you a shout out, Jess. Let's yeah, see, like, what were you up to? Everyone. Always nice to see more fresh meat, I mean, lovely guests come over. Okay. Uh, shout out, paste. Let's see, Sims 4 again, huh? So how's the Jesse, Bun how's the Jesse Bunch going, huh? <laughs> You were streaming that last time I came to visit. Wait, what, what did you say now? Yep. They were playing that the last time I came uh, to visit. Uh, Jesse Bum? Bunch. Like Brady Bunch. Bunch. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I, I have a hearing horn give me an image ready if you want me to put that in as well. Anyways, uh, yeah, welcome. This is a bit of a spooky comedy uh, point-and-click adventure, as you can tell, or guess. Uh, yeah, we, we're here in a retirement home, and, uh, well, the residents will not retire from shenanigans for some reason or another. And we just need to, well, break it up. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Yes, we made nectar, a few bottles of it. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the wine from Sims. Uh, <laughs> how drunk have your characters gotten off of that so far, if I may ask? Uh, nothing new from her. Okay. Let's see, what is it with these? I There's something we need with these, but I can't take a guess at what it might be. Uh... I read, okay, bro, I thought for a second I misread that. Hmm. We need to 
we need to fake a possession to break up, uh, well, this freaking rave in this <laughs> in the retirement home. I know where we need to stick the stupid thing, but we need to glue it in place somehow first. I'll just put it up there, it'll fly off once I turn the thing on. Need to find a way to secure it, so we need to find some sort of glue or tape. And honestly, I'm out of ideas, so I'm going to look up a hint. Well, now my mentor is stuck with the mental image of Little Yes playing Sims with the Bonnie characters. <laughs> For me, Miss Evening Bon earlier. Uh, let's see, need to scroll back through all this. Uh, no, not that. Come on. There we go, Twilight Years, Rave Party, let's see, mm -hmm. how to stop, we need to get the pastor out, talk to him, fake possession, yes, yeah, the teddy bear, and the tape, mm -hmm. yes, okay. How to tie, you need some sort of longer item cloth to hang this teddy into the fan. Okay. Oh, okay, we need to stop the mayhem at the car park first, apparently. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, denture gum. Okay. Oh, okay. That took a few discounts. Uh, not discount hints for me to get it. Uh, ta -ta -ta, yeah. Can I take these? I'd like the coupons. Magazines are for people waiting at reception. You can't just take them. What would the people are hiding from reads? You can remove the coupons. You can't. You, know, you can't just take the magazines. Uh. Ta -ta. Okay, so we need to cut way. them out somehow. Also, some months ago I was at the dentist. I was sat down to wait and I realized something. They no longer have magazines for you to read. Mm -hmm. This is weird. For a bit, you should have something to read at the dentist while you wait. Yeah. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's saying to mix the stickers with this uh, with the coupons, but it doesn't say how to get the coupons specifically. Uh, yeah, ta -ta -ta. denture gum. Get rid of her. Yeah, ta -ta -ta. yes, discounts. Hmm. How do we... Re it doesn't say how we remove them. Oh. Hey, Patrick, see you in any new room yet? I saw the outside. Well, that's very nice. That little chat with the faculty manager really paid off. What a good grandson. What little chat. Out of the job. Well, Hooks of the job, detective! Uh, hmm. What did he do? Probably a threat and uh, such. Okay, so we need something to cut those out, or... Hmm. Hmm. 
Dude, how do we get them out then? There's no hints about that. Hmm. Mixed colors, washing powder, that's still locked. Hmm. Yes, yes. Would be nice if we could skip long bits like that. Hmm. Is there some sort of scissors I've missed or something? She does say that we can take out the coupons, but we, we can't seem to be able to. Hmm. Is there some... Hmm. Oh, there. Mama always said we don't go running with scissors. It's just as well we don't have uh, move animations then. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that was a an easy find that I overlooked. Whenever I cut the deals out, as long as oh, eighty six percent or more is left for people to read, I'm okay with it. Magazine clippings. Anything good? Buy one toad, get a second free, fifty percent off. Just pick a thing, and I'll come over and take half of it away. Free limbs cost no questions. So yes then. What? Okay. Hey, you like deals, right? These coupons are of any interest to you? Go oh boy, I love a good coupon. But things are a little too hectic here for here today for shopping, sadly. I can take up those deals next week before they expire. There, and I can't believe I'm saying this, they're not as urgent as being here for the patients today. Okay, that's what we need the stickers for. Let's alter these coupon exp expiration dates. Doctored... <laughs> Doctored clippings. Sorry, I, I peeked with the name of this item. Nothing fun to add here. I don't have time for some... But if today's the deadline, I guess I can't afford to wait. Mind this place for me, and it makes sure none of the residents get into the back uh, back in timers. The what? The okay. An industrial vat of denture gum. Hmm. Maybe enough industrial gum could stop a car. Yep. Oh. Uh. Oop. <laughs> Sorry, detecting a bit. Keep mucking up. <laughs> Wrong button, I guess. No, no, I hit you with a duck. Uh, so, detective, it's too heavy. Okay, so we need a oh. container or something for it. That's what this sound they were doing. They tried to lift it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, a smaller contain. Actually, one of these. Bottle of laxatives. Uh, Captain, I just looked at the time. Yeah, we need to call it soon. Um. Okay, I just looked a bit more at the hints, and we need to stop the water fight before we can get the gum. Uh, there she is. And I'll have six dozen. No, make that eight dozen of the canine rectal thermometers. How different can I <laughs> animals think to be? Uh, very. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, we'll need to finish this up next week then. Uh, there. Save. And yeah, exit case. The main menu. Uh, <sighs> oh. Give me a second on this. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh, Twitch has something new when it ha has these bots popping up. It's marked. They're marked as a possible ban evader monitoring. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, ban. Fuck you. And piss off. Okay, that automatically removes the message now as well. It didn't do that before, at least once, I think. And, yeah. That'll be uh, <laughs> the Dark Side Detective of Fumble in the Dark for today. I did not expect this first one to take so long, but I'm pretty... S I'm hoping they made it extra long bec because they kind of needed to tie up the, <laughs> the end of the previous game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but before still we fun. end the stream... Yep, go ahead. Oh, I said, it's still fun, though. Yeah. Before we end the stream, let's go look for someone to raid. So, Twitch... Okay, it's not too busy. We have Redacted Cat playing The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon. We have Dugger Douglas McDog playing Silent Hill 2. Is that the new one or the old one? Apparently they're using a webcam now. Okay. Uh, Moonrise is playing Jack, but actually the, this, the remake of Silent Hill 2 isn't out yet, so clearly that's going to be the original. Moonrise is playing Jackbox Party Packs. I'm Nice is playing Baldur's Gate 3. You saw Rosier with space, uh, a Kerbal Space Program. Sapphire Cloud is playing Pokemon Platinum. Uh, WBPL is playing Frostpunk 2. K9 is playing... Um, and last but not least, we have K9 playing Nightingale. And apparently it's their birthday. Okay. Can't say I've heard of that game. Hmm. What was the game's name again? Uh, Nightingale. I have heard of this. Okay. If I Do remember you... right... If if I remember right, I know I heard the name before. It is, think of it like Victorian monster hunters in a fairyland. Okay. A very um, vague description. Yeah, all I'm really seeing at the moment is uh, them running around in a gun with a gun in uh, some sort of desert ruins or something. <clears throat> Sounds but, right. Yeah. Guess we'll rate them then? Why not? Okay, copy the name. Get to our place. And of course, slash raid and paste. But before we start, as always, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Jess, also for the raid. Thank you, Darth Knox, Kirugo, uh, Chris from Resident Evil, and uh, Tatum and uh, Knight from uh, uh, before. And I see a bunch of other names in there. Uh, uh, welcome anyone else who came along. Uh, I will compare any names that I don't know against the name of known bots. Uh, but I very much doubt that Jess would have many of those that came along. <clears throat> and, yeah. Uh, thank you as always as well, Vikir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining and watching this madness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no stream tomorrow, but with luck and no interruptions, we'll be able to continue with Alien Isolation on Tuesday and Thursday. And, yeah, we'll continue with this next week for, on Sunday. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see. I think that's about it. So, yeah, let's get this raid started. And, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Peace, everyone. Sleep well and watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and dark side seagulls. Those are even worse. They're the same! <laughs> <laughs>